God. When is chat going to get here, man? <laughs> so annoying. Hello, chat. <laughs> Literally been watching every fight. No one's even here, man. So lame. Oh, wow. Now you guys show up. Wow, dude. Now you decide to show up. Wow. I see how it is. <laughs> Sorry we're late. I know, dude. Fucking disgraceful behavior. But at least we're schooling it on picks. They're already glazing, bro. Who they glazing? <laughs> Dude, Javid Basharat has such a large head for his body. I have I'll never, I'll never go beyond that, you know? Glazing Basharat, the mid. <laughs> Basharat's good, though. Yeah, I saw the Hardwick guy get KO'd. <laughs> the Hardwick guy. That's all you guys know him as. <laughs> But um, he was doing. He, he was on his way to winning the fight. He got clipped right behind the ear. It is what it is. Right on the side of the head. He was on his way to winning, but it is what it is. How does your not taste? I don't know, dude. I need to blow my nose, I guess, right? Didn't you pick out Sawadi Lil, bro? It's the correct pick to make. Rajabov is trash, but he, he bruised forward and uh, clipped him behind the ear. It is what it is. You can't get him all right. Less views than Lucas Tracy. Give it a fucking three minutes, mate. <laughs> Is Lucas live before you and growing pretty fast? <laughs> I don't really care. Thank you for the membership. Why is Ariel Water fighting Basher out? I don't know. I'm going to snort so much, dude. My my whole face is literally uh, fucking swollen up, dude. Yeah, I'm out. Fuck that. Yeah, I'll stop snorting now. I've done. I'll blow my nose after this fight and then we'll chill. Lucas Tracy stream went from 1.1k to 600 view. <laughs> okay. That's all good, though. You know, I've got to give him a bit of a head start, you know, on the fights. Dude, how is Basher at a minus 1,600 favorite after that round? He just got cracked twice on the chin. And you know what I've noticed as well, chat? Basharat looks like McGregor. In a very weird way. Like if he was bald, he would look a lot like McGregor. Did you watch the Klein fight? He looked good. He looked good, but like he was supposed to look good in that fight, you know? Like he was really supposed to look good. Good left hand there from Amy and Zahabi. Props to Ariel for stepping in the cage. Uh, stop fucking jabbing me. Uh. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? He's fucking spamming low kicks. Uh. <laughs> uh, stop jabbing my fucking nose. Good body shot there from Javid and a good front kick to the body as well. From the side, he looks like him. Yeah, from the side, like this side here that we're looking at. Calf kicks changed the game. Thanks, Joe Rogan, for letting us all know. Appreciate that, dude. <laughs> Knee to the body there from Javid. Good uppercut from Javid. Really nasty uppercut. Got to be careful, though. Getting too aggressive. He gets cracked there by Amian. Body kick from Javid. Body kick by Amian and a good punch. Dude, Javid's getting tagged. He does get tagged. Like, although he's this wizard and absolute genius, wow, wizard, wizard, listen to the commentary. Can't you guys tell he's going to be a champion? Um, he does just skate past a lot of these decisions. I'd like to see him put a little bit of a statement on this one. Why are you so late to the best card of the decade? I don't know, dude. I woke up early enough, but I just feel like shit in the morning, so. 
is what it is. I woke up about 6 p.m. <clears throat> Thank you for the free New Zealand dollars. This card's stinky. Ariel got some hands here. I mean, I've, if I'm not on time for UFC 299, I'll never be on time. So it, it has to happen. You know what I mean? We have to make it happen. Good thing it's not morning, indeed. Oh, failed takedown from Javi the Bashara to uh, missed elbow as well. Dude, he keeps ducking down to his right. Amian could time that with his left hook. There it is. See, chat, that was, this has actually been quite a competitive round, but for whatever reason, I can actually hear the commentary just glazing Basharat nonstop. That's all they do these days, is they just pick a fighter to absolutely shower with glaze, and then they just, like, get shocked at an upset if it happens. You know? Bro got a heavyweight-sized head, he does. Oh, guillotine from Amian. Basharat has to roll out of it. No, not quite. He's good. He survives. He's good. He had to sort of go to the ground there. He keeps shooting these shitty takedowns. Awful entries. Just wading forward here. Really putting the pressure on Amian. Good left hand from Javid. Amian's got to throw back here. Has to throw something back here. Has to throw something of significance back. He's not throwing. There you go. He lands a good right hand there. Javid acknowledges it. Javid just wading forward, dude. Looking rookie. Good right hand from Amian. Stumbles uh, Bashrat for a second. Front kick to the body from Javid. More shots at the end from Amian, dude. Javid's fucking head movement is like, what the fuck? The best fight card ever. I know, dude. It's actually been pretty good so far based on the fights that have happened. Get well soon, Guru. I've watched you since around first Volk fight. Volk is Lamb match. So not OG, but a big fan. Thank you. Keep on tracking, Breda. By the way, did you see the calf kick? I did see the calf kick. Yeah, thank you, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. 1-1. One, one. How are you guys saying 1-1? One, one? It could be 2-0. It could be 2-0. Uh. To Javi the Bush. But maybe one one. You gotta at least get here for Pereira Mikal for UFC two ninety nine. Yeah, it would be good. The King of is sponsored UFC two Glaze the Daggies. Okay. Very good stuff. I'm on about four hours sleep. It is what it is. It e what it e. <laughs> Nearly dropped, Mandem. Indeed. Nearly dropped indeed. Yeah, 1-1, one, one, I guess. Impression of Bisping glazing at Javid after getting knocked out. Oh my word, you're amazing. You look like a fucking Kajit from fucking Skyrim. Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Welcome, Deshaun, Raven, FightX23, Pussyfoot, Lou. Jason Waterfalls, 9686, Leo Williams, Mark Stuckless, left lane MMA, good spinning back kick to the body from Javid Bashara, and the MMA gringo. I appreciate all of you guys. That was a nasty spinning back kick to the body there from Javid. Good teep as well. I mean, the way he was walking forward at the end of round two, he's almost basically just trying to get Amy into like use up energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if he really puts it on in this round with body shots, especially. <laughs> but he's left it to where if he gets dropped, it's kind of like wraps for him. Like he good body kick there. Like he can't risk being dropped. MMA Kokru. It's not Kokru. And I just feel like shit. I don't know what it is. 
Body kick from Emi and Zahabi. Actually a nasty body kick as well. Teep to the body from Basharat. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you for the $10. You struggle with sleep and feeling like shit in the AM because you smoke weed. I'm also a biggie boy that struggles with it. I'm not smoking weed though. I used to, but no, not now. I started back hill sprinting to force the mucus and shit out. Good luck. Okay. Thank you for the $10. I used to, but I don't smoke weed in the moment. Um, AGTTMH. Okay, chill out. Second Lion. Alfonso Caponis and Kyle Kelly. Thank you for the memberships. Oh, they swang and front kicks to the body from Javid again. Misses his right hand again. Uppercut glances off the forehead of Fa of uh, Amium. Me and Guru injected three marijuanas. Yeah, we inhaled three buds, which actually is how it works, to be fair. Bunch of nothing from Javid. Amian kicked the leg a few times. Another inside low kick from Amian. Happy this card started good after Mexico took a shit last week. Good shots there, but good right hand back from uh, Javid. Yeah, the Mexico cards was pretty shit, wasn't it? But unfortunately, I didn't have right pick, so people didn't agree with me when I first said it. But it is what it is. Yeah, that was genuinely one of the worst cards of all time, that Mexico card. Which race would... Uh, just shut up, dude. Like, start in the stream. Let's just watch some fucking fights, man. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, Javid's looking slick, but, like, in terms of points, like, he just got clipped by a left hook there as he landed a body kick. Jab hit him there as well. Right hand from Farid. That landed good, but he's still open coming in. And Farid and Amian is still swinging. Yeah, I'm just going to like stop baiting straight away on the stream. Let's just watch a good fight. Good right hook from Amian Zahabi. Left hook from Amian Zahabi. Some jabs. Dude, what is going on with Basharat, dude? Looks shit. Looks frail. Gives up his back here in the uh, transition. Zahabi apparently way up on strikes here in the third. Farid might need a strong finish. Is Amy and Zahabi good? No, no way. Farid's trash, I think. Good shot there from Amy and again. Basharat can still get it, but I'm looking. it's looking like 2-1 Amy and Zahabi here. Just landed another stiff jab. Yeah, I don't know. I think Amy and Zahabi won that shit. <laughs> wow. What a shitty performance from Farid, dude, from Javid. Just a bunch of layups and then uh, still fumbling it. He lost a third, and I think you guys were all saying he lost a second. Need your locker tonight? I don't know. Ariel's beating the fuck out of this IT guy right now. Okay. Google image search, Florida, Israeli. Yeah, okay. Thank you for the $2. Basharat getting fraud checked. All right. Yeah, he literally did just get fraud checked, right? That was embarrassing of a performance. Um... I'm farting, I'm farting, I'm farting in the air tonight. I'm farting, I'm farting in the air. I swear I saw you in The Hobbit. Thank you. Yeah, I think Amy and Zahabi got that shit.
But I gave it to Amy and Harvey. Nice. There you go. There you go. Bomber McGregor. Okay. Uh, Daggies only throw head down over hands, bro. I know, because they can disguise it as takedowns, dude. <laughs> what single fight are you most excited for, personally interested in then for the next two, three months? Holloway Gaethje now, because I'm picking Holloway. Basharat giving Wood Elf soy vibes right now. Not going to lie, Wood Elf, yeah. Literally increased fucking bow skills. Disgusting. Dude, Gaziev is actually fucking awful looking on the regional scene. Honestly. Come on. Do you think Weasel overanalyzes? He said Max is past his prime and that Whitaker regressed because he didn't slip Costa's jab like he did Izzy and Jared. Um, The thing is, yeah, every single fight is absolutely luck-based. So you can look into all those semantics as much as you want. You know what I mean? Like, oh, uh, you weren't slipping Costa's jab the same way. I doubt he fucking drilled in training camp. We better watch out for Paulo Costa's jab. You know what I mean? That, that That's probably what that is. Against Adesanya, it's like, let's slip out the way of larger, uh, not larger, but rangier, lengthier shots. Same thing with Jared Cannon in maybe, because he does throw a lot of straight punches. But with Costa, I doubt he was in any way drilling, let's slip on the outside of the jab. Um... He will bring the belt to Canada next GSP. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, but really there's no need to analyze anything. The whole game's a fucking fluke. It's natural to have a weakened immune system after visiting South Africa. Okay. How bad is George Hardwick? Oh, I don't even talk to me about him. I don't want to hear about it. Son and killing Masvidal in Miami. Goat match. No. No, 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 no. Enough. Enough talk. Fartwick, dude, he's going to bounce back. You'll all fucking see. You'll all see. Honestly, though, like, Rajabov is actually a good style to beat Abdul Karim because he's a big, imposing, power-swinging tard. So that's a lot more difficult to maintain. That's like Ilya Tapuria against uh, Volk, you know? Like a larger Ilya Tapuria against Volk. Whereas Hardwick's more of a Holloway-ish type fighter. Do 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 <laughs> Our Canadian owned that undefeated fighter good. Impression of Ariel using his nose to drill through a bank vault. Okay. Ma, I'm the underminer. Girlfriend mad at me because I'm watching you at dinner. Soy girlfriend. True. We are back. CLD Molly whopped to Ribeiro and didn't get rocked like Kopilov. True. That means he beats Adesanya and Whitaker, right? According to uh, Lucas Tracy. Him versus Pereira. Alexi Juk winner in Manchester. Let's go. Yes. Impression of Jorge Masvidal pulling up to Stockton, but he already knows Nate isn't there and realizes he looks lame, but has got to act hard. Uh. I'm just like going from Miami, man. Like where I'm from, 3 p.m. That's the heat of the gym time, you know. So I was looking for a fight. Like, thank you for the five dollars. What the fuck? Don't compare Hardwick to Holloway. He's basically the same fighter. Pressure fighters with power always have been scary for Volk. True. The same way, like Rajabov was scary for Abdul Karim Al, Al Sawadi. Obviously. Don't you guys get it? Potential of Leroy Duncan. Good. Very good. Thank you for the 11 months of membership. In honor of your plump physique, I had KFC today. Nice, dude. Nice. I'm actually going to get some good eats today because uh, the fight card finishes at a reasonable time. So I'm going to get some good eats and some good sleep, yeah? Impression of Connor refilling D's food and water bowl. Yeah, that's, that should keep you going until your next pregnancy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, messed Max legs up. Justin's going to chew it up. Nah, dude. Justin Gaethje's too slow. Mm. Way too slow. 
Impression of Paulo Costa talking about the energy. You have to have the energy. The energy to expand. Thank you for the two dollars. Poor D. Yeah, I know, dude. D just getting fucking absolutely fucking railed on a regular basis. Insane. Are you pregnant again, D? No, Connor, I'm not. I'll be in there in a fucking minute, then, yeah. We gotta fucking make sure of this. I can't have a month a month of you not being pregnant now. Shitting in the snow with a poo poo on my Thank you for the membership, brutally honest MMA. The guy I used uh, the footage from for the Mirabi PO thing. Good luck with your channel and growing it as a YouTuber in MMA. Shout out to you. Um, UFC should make CLD versus Copylove next. They should. Oh, I'm going to fart so much, dude. I feel like shit. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> dude, where is just a site that has the fucking betting odds? It pisses me the fuck off. Thank you for the membership for 29 months. You've called me a Jew. Thank you, Kyle. Jesus. Um, why are you seeing like a gay? I don't. I'm just English. Connor doing his part to get yeah, true. He's battling back against the odds. Joanna and Jay check is mid, but she's horny as fuck, and you can tell. And you can tell. And you can tell. Who's your pick? I don't know who I'm picking in this fight. It's a tricky one. Impression of father, father, father from an alternate universe where he's proud of me. No. I'm proud of you, son. You can go on to be Superman one day. Thank you for the five pounds, Clark Kent. Pooing in the snow with a poo-poo on my face. Poo-poo and a poo-poo-poo and a big fat steamy poo. Oh, poo-poo-poo, poo-poo. I'm going to go with Oliveira. I'm going to go with Oliveira. I'm going to go with Oliveira. I'm going to go with this Oliveira chap. See how well it goes. You know what I'm saying? On some G shit, no cap on the stack. Dude, Javid is awful. How the fuck are you losing all these layups? Your gay cope story two days ago was a bit sus, Guru. It's not sus, man. It's not sus. I'm just comfortable enough um, that I'm straight. But you guys, you guys like have to believe it's genetic. I don't think it's genetic. But let's not get into that on this stream. I think it's a learned behavior. MMA Joey just tweeted Basharat should have won. Called it a robbery. Yeah, I don't know about that. I thought he lost a third and he got stumbled in the second. So it's close. Zahabi looks like a white version of Ghost from Power. Not really at all. Do you think if O'Malley wins next? No offense, Mr. Estrogen, but I don't think he looks like that as well at all. But uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I need to have another look, but I, I seem to remember that character. Um, do you think if O'Malley wins next weekend, he will get to smash? Uh, thank you for the nine months of membership. Tell you, dude, all chat is now is just edge bait. It's so weird. Lomba do Penero. Crawling to the center of the cage like a creep. Wow. This guy's creepy. Put him on a register, please. Oh, they're about to get it on. Couple seconds behind on the old fight clock. All right, let's see it, you Albanian savage. I'm John fucking Zorka. Zahabi looks like, hey, you guys, from the Goonies. He doesn't. Zahabi looks like Cinderquill, the Pokemon. That's what Zahabi looks like. All right? 
Amy and Zahabi looks like fucking Cinderquill. Chicken burger. Okay. Chicken burger. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars. Cinderquill. Thank you for the five dollars. Impression of Bisping talking, taking a poo. I'll oh, shut up for a second, man. There's a fight on in it. Um, round one, both guys swinging heat, barely missed each other there in the first exchange. Looks like Sop is out for fucking KOs. Looking a little bit small and less rangy so far. It's been taking a poo. Rebecca tells him to clean the dishes, but he hasn't finished his poo. <laughs> Rebecca, you're making me drag it into the fucking kitchen, you fucking slag. I'm leaving a fucking trail of sludge, you fucking worm. What am I, a fucking one-eyed snail? Impression of John Anik. Good front kick to the body from Oliveira. Belly moves out the way of the counters, though. Fizzing the ring girls. No, hang on, man. Fizzing, rizzing them, do you think? Have any of you got any custody battles tonight? Good low kick from Oliveira. Good jab from Sopage. <sighs> <laughs> Bastra is shit and stinks just like his country. The UK that he doesn't represent. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sopatch is doing a lot of just plant and throw here. Should be figure outable for Oliveira if he doesn't wheel kick. There you go. Right, he's on bottom. He threw a fucking wheel kick. I was literally going to say, it should be figure out a boy if he doesn't throw anything wild and then he does a wheel kick. He's going for a leg here. Never go for leg locks. Oh, weird position there for uh, Sopage's leg, though. <clears throat> When's the fight of Basher out? I don't know. It's just happened. He lost. That Pfeiffer jab, something else, man. Yeah, that Pfeiffer jab. I do not know who you're talking about tonight. Elbow there from Sopage. Why did all the fun end when I get here? Come on, bro. All right, Oliveira back up. Moves out of the way of an uppercut. What's he got on the back foot here? This would be a good time for Sopage to throw and pressure with some big shots, big right hook. We're doing wonders. Good right hand from Sopage. Oh, good right hand back from Oliveira. He nearly got caught by a head kick. Good low kick as well afterwards. That was nasty. Missed the second one. See if he can get off some more damage. Who's winning this round? So far, I'd lean at Sopage because of the Oh, body shot from Sapaj. Kick from Oliveira gets blocked. Misses the low kick again. Low kick from Sapaj. Oliveira stuffs the takedown nearly. No, right into Mount Sapaj. Wow. Huge moment. Oliveira scrambles back to guard, though. Good for him. All right, so what round one, Sapaj them? Who I picked, anyway? You're in his world now, indeed. What is this Oliveira movement? Dude looks drunk. Yeah, he's not looking good. <laughs> He screwed. Calf kick followed by that Piper jab. Yeah. Oh, my word. Good shots by Sopage at the end of that round. <clears throat> round one, Sopage. And Oliveira looks like he's crying already. Chin up, mate. Yikes performance. Yeah, very yikes. <laughs> Ribovich cooking. Okay. 
Impression of Michael Bisping. Ah, oh, fuck that. Teeth knocked out. Wow. I still believe in Oliveira here. I think on the feet he's got an advantage. He'll find it. It's just uh, these takedowns have been messing him up. Messing up his timing right now. Dude, this Opage guy looks like such an Albanian guy. So blatantly Albanian. <clears throat> no, not a 10 8, you fucking idiot. <clears throat> Why do people get such horrible tats? Uh, tattoos are mainly for retarded people, so. Not all people with tattoos are retarded, but all retards have tattoos. Uh-oh. This ain't going to go well. Good job by Oliveira to stuff that. Now he's got his own trip. Oh, he's weak. Oh, he's weak. And he shakes his head at that one as well. He knows that was a bad throw attempt. He should have separated. He's back to his hips here. Strong from Oliveira, to be fair. Don't want to give up his back, though. He's sat up right here. Good control time from Sopnaj or Sopaj. Got to watch the double back take here, Oliveira. He's got two on one. Yeah, terrible uh, game plan there for Oliveira to shoot back into the clinch. Awful, awful, awful skills. He's just going to hold two on one here, I guess, as well. Yeah, really awful, awful brain. I don't know why he even like chose to fight for a living. He's getting hit quite a bit here. He's trying to escape from uh, the back take, though, which he does. Very well done from him. Yeah, just don't choose fighting as a career. If you're being out grappled and then you shoot in for your own takedown after escaping a grappling exchange, just awful, awful brain skills. Hooks are back in on the back here for Sopaj. He's kind of high up here, though, but he flattens him out. He flattens out Oliveira, who can use the cage here. This could be something if he uses the cage. No, he kicks away so he doesn't have the cage. <laughs> Never mind. Half guard on bottom for Oliveira. You know what, chat? Um, walking up the cage, I think, is such an underrated thing that fighters just don't even do. Watch the back take again, Oliveira. All right. Yeah, good shots from Sopaj. This is looking like it might go on to be a tenant. Impression of Ortega breaking his beak and plucking his feathers. What are you doing, Ortega? Stop ramming your head into that car. I'm breaking my beak and ripping out my feathers. And um, yeah. Oliveira surviving it, though. It's a lot of work for Sopaj. Oliveira scrambling again, two on one. Not quite. So I just sat up on him here. Oliveira should push off the cage, sit upright. No. He should keep his right arm tucked and push off with his left hand on the cage. He's standing here. All right, there's something he might be able to escape. He's back up. So I just can't quite get the body triangle. Oliveira's got two on one. He could end up on top, and he does. Let's see if he can do some equivalent damage. Good job by Oliveira. We'll see about the grappling skills here, though. How quickly can Sopaj get up? Good punch from Oliveira. Good punch again. Good punch just behind the ear. That one grazed off. All right, he needs to do more damage than Sopaj did, though. Good shot there from him. He's trying to put on some pressure here. Half guard on top, and Sopaj just had the back for like three minutes. And Oliveira's looking for mount here. Might be able to get the back himself. Here's the back take, Oliveira. You're so slow. Drags down Sopaj. There you go. Half guard. Now full mount. No rest. Ah. Good shots again from Oliveira. Still a Sopaj round so far on ground and pound. Good shot from Oliveira again. And again. And again and again. Elbows to the body. 
Arm triangle attempt on the wrong side, but he could work around to it. Not quite. He should go mount here. Or just keep raining down shots. He should go for mount here. He needs mount or something. Go for mount here. Good elbows from Oliveira. Good body shots. He needs mount here. Something dominant at the end of the round is needed for Oliveira. He's drowning uh, Sopage. Good kick to the body. Beat him up against the cage here. Good shots. Go for it, Oliveira. Flying near. No, don't walk in like that. Oh, my God, dude. Oliveira is retarded. Uppercut from Oliveira at the end of the round. Head kick. He wobbled it at the end. Body shot. Oh, my God, dude. I don't know. It might actually be his second. He wobbled in there at the end. Sopage looks done. Honestly, if it weren't for his body language, I could actually see Sopage still getting that round, but I think that's Oliveira's now. 1-1. One, one. Looked like he was breaking there for a second. One one, he wobbled him indeed. I knew it was the only one who thought he looked like a whiter Tapuria. Yeah, maybe a little bit. There's someone else he looks like as well. I can't think of it though. Round three. Come on, Oliveira. What we got in the gas tank? Shoot first. I say shoot a takedown first. None of that, please. None of that leg kicking shit, please. Good straight left from Sopage. Oliveira's doing too much. Look at him, Spaz. He does have a bit of a Tom Cruise look, doesn't he? I don't know. I just, all I can say is that he looks very Albanian. Even down to the fucking taper at the, uh, at the back. Very Albanian. <laughs> Oliveira pressure in here. Right hand from Oliveira. Another one. Oh, stung him with two right hands and Sopnadge is hurt. Watch out though, Oliveira. Watch out though. Sopnadge felt those right hands. Jab from Oliveira. How come this card is on such a UK-friendly time? Because it's a shit card. Luckily, when there's shit fights, though, they're all fun. Right hand from Oliveira landed there. Sopnadge got some swelling. Good straight left from Sopnadge. <laughs> Another jab. Looks like that person... Oh, good low kick from uh, Oliveira stumbles Sopnadge again. Another one. Looks like that passing dude that beat Semmelsberg here. Yeah. Enough of what he looks like. There's a scrap going on. He could be here all day. Body kick. One, two from Oliveira. Dude, I don't know. Someone's going to get laid out. Jesus Christ. One of them's got to shoot first on this takedown. Who's it going to be? Probably the one who does it is probably going to win. I think they're both so tired. Whoever shoots first with passion is going to... That sound is so sus. Whoever shoots first with, like, commitment and, like, desire. Not desire, but, like, you know, whatever. Low kicks from Oliveira. You know what I mean. Another low kick for him. Oliveira, good right hand, left hook. This is his round for sure so far. Low kick again. Misses the left hook though. He's so open, Oliveira though. I don't know about. Low kick again from Oliveira. 
Catches the kick. Good tape off of the catch. I like that. Stop the fight. Good right hands. Good shots from Oliveira. Rosas made his Instagram private. Why, man? Fighters are so dumb, dude. Him pulling out of the fight was probably more promotion than him fucking winning it. Good right hand and a low kick from Oliveira. Beating up Sopadge in this round. Sopadge got to make a massive turnaround here. <laughs> low kick again from Oliveira. Sopadge misses. Good right hand over the top from Oliveira. <laughs> He's still fishing for the finish. Good inside low kick. Good outside low kick. Ah, oh, Sopadge's legs are done. His legs are fucking frail as fuck. Look at him stumbling over himself. He's not even being hit. Good straight left from Oliveira. Dude, Sopadge has got a fucking chin on him, dude. Left hook again. Right hand from Oliveira. Misses the low kick. Oh, hold on now. This is when you front kick the body, Oliveira. Uh, you ain't doing that good. Stop talking to people. Ah, oh, there you go, pussy. See, all good shots, though, from Oliveira. You ain't Holloway, little bro. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, chat, I've got a feeling Holloway beats uh, Gaethje, you know? I got a real feeling about it. Good jab from uh, Oliveira. Low kick from Oliveira and a left hook and stop nudges her. Oh! 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 Holy shit! Oh shit! Dude, he literally caught me with no breath left. That is crazy, dude. I literally had no breath left for that KO reaction. What a fucking KO. Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. KO of the fucking year. Wow. Insane. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, I was literally on no breath. I don't know what even, I don't know what noise I just made even. That was so fucking weird. Jesus. Impression of DC ordering KFC. I don't care. Shut up right now. Jesus Christ. Left hook and he loses, he misses attention for like a little bit and then boom, flying near. And you know what? He's actually, it's good that he went for that finish as well because, um, he was asking for it. He was asking for it. Yeah, he kept looking away. Um, brutal KO lost, though. That is sad to see for an, the uh, Albania's only and best prospect. Um, Bisping is having flashbacks, indeed. But, um, yeah, nasty win from Oliveira, dude. And he, I, I think it's good that he went for that as well because you don't know if he got the second. He should have done, but you never know, man. You never know. Fuck, girl, I'm crying. I did so much research, too. Albania. Oh, no, dude, yeah. It's tough, man. It's a tough debut to get, man. It's not like a US fighter that just gets fed cans. Like European and Brazilian fighters actually have to fight good opponents. You know? Not like US guys that just have to go six and one and they get a fucking four and no opponent. Like Oliveira is 17 and three. You know what I mean? Or 19 and three. Like it's, it, this ain't the US. You know what I mean? But yeah, insane. Insane from Oliveira, dude. And Sopnaj was doing good, but he gave up the, the grappling in the second round. Fumbled the grappling in the second round. Pretty bad. Weight bullion. I mean, yeah, he's larger, but that's the sport, isn't it? You've got to be the bigger opponent. Bigger opponent's win. To be honest, I could do a better flying near. After three rounds of grappling, are you sure? Cry about it. I'm not. I'm happy. I picked him. Even though I coped and said, yeah, I picked Sopaj in the middle of the fight. Before it, I said Oliveira. So I'm glad. <laughs> His legs fucked up. Yeah, get him out of there. Damn, dude, that's tough. You know he had a bunch of people behind him as well. First guy from Albania. Dude, Albanians are very, very uh, emotional. The Albanian disconnected from the lobby. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for the 18 AD. <laughs> 
Wow. What a KO. I don't know. I can't remember how I reacted, uh, but uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I literally had no breath for my reaction. Dude can't even walk. I know. Insane. Good win from Oliveira. He didn't look too great, though. I'll be honest with you. He looked a bit sloppy, catch catchable. Like, he ain't beating Doba. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to have to fight Doba, but you know what I mean? Let's see what he's like on the mic. Definitely. Performance bonus. Bro, like, what the fuck? All Albanians lost debuts. I'm crushed. What do you mean all Albanians lost debuts? What more Albanians were there? <laughs> oh, Bazooka, but he's more U.S., Thank you for the $5. Impression the weasel explaining why his cousin just lost to a, yeah. Whatever. Yo, what's up, guys? Oliveira was wobbling you guys in that second round, you guys. He was. Mm. He's not fast enough to get away from Dobie. Yeah. Impression of the weasel. I've already read that one. McKinney up next for him. What, you just want to see McKinney get flying need again? I'll probably go with McKinney in that fight, to be honest with you. Oliveira is very open on the feet. Vinicius Oliveira versus Bernardo. <laughs> Bernardo. <laughs> He's a bantamweight. I know they are. Ding, 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 ding. You're so dumb. Yeah, this guy's baiting me with the fucking thing. I literally just said he can't ever fight Dober anyway, but I got baited. But McKinney, like that type of style would beat him, like a fast starting finishing style. Fair to say KO of the year contender. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Of the year so far. Yeah, definitely. Name a better KO this year than that one. Yes, actually Pickett can win this fight. We'll see how he looks. I just don't like how uh, good Anders looked against Mark Andre. So I'm going to go uh, with Eric Anders. But Pickett can win this fight. He's not a bad underdog here, honestly. Who do you think of the other Michael Johnsons in the UFC? As in, could beat anyone? Uh, difficulty on a donor. Um, I don't know, man. Alonzo Manyfield. Rest in pickles, yeah. Thank you for the two New Zealand dollars. I say Alonzo Manyfield is one of those. Tim Elliott is typically one of those as well. You know, Carlos Diego Fajaya type. Paul Craig ish. Josh Emmett. Let's give Guru a number to fix his nose so he's not on blow. I'm not on blow, dude. Dude, yeah, Loic Rajabov is fucking yoked, you know. Insane how yoked that guy is. Insanity. Absolute insanity. Absolute fucking insanity. Massive, dude. The shoulders on him and the traps. Holy smokes. Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Do, 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 do. I want to squeeze, squeeze. All right, calm down. Thank you for the 10 Canadian dollars. Dude, so why do you fought a middleweight? I know you've got to be huge in MMA. There's no point being the same size or smaller than your opponent. Be larger. Don't be a bum. You know what I mean? Simple as that, really.
Like Abdul Kareem was landing good shots, but it's just like you're smaller, bro. Who cares? Like if he was a larger guy, he would have got KOs maybe, but you're smaller, bro. No one gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Be larger, weight cut more. That's all the sport is. Like that right hand he landed in round two could have been a KO if he was fucking 10 pounds heavier. What if I bet on picket? I don't mind people betting on picket. I don't mind people betting on picket. I don't mind it at all. Man, dude, Abdul Karim was literally on his way to winning that fucking fight with Loic. Had him break in, slowing down at the end of round two, and then boom, just gets waded through and caught over the top. Insane. Yeah, doing too much in round three. Charlie said Jamie's retiring tonight and is round one. Jesus Christ, what, regardless, he's retiring? That's crazy. Maybe that was part of their deal. Who knows? Thank you for the 10 Canadian dollars, Stomper. I appreciate the 10 Canadian dollars. Rest in pickles. No. You need to recruit that Gingers Do Have Souls kid to the MMA community. Wonder what he's up to right now. Maybe. Bring him in a little bit. No, I'm good. I'll be fine. But yeah, Ludovic Klein looked good. Sopatch was looking good on one week's notice. He was, yeah. On a full camp, he probably wins, to be honest with you. Right? If that's on a week's notice, on a full camp, he probably wins that. Method round victory for Anders. Roll tired, brother. I don't know. Like, if he had a full camp, he probably gets a takedown in the third. <laughs> so bad for Cunningham. Imagine having your UFC debut. And within the first 15 seconds, you throw a kick and slip on your ass. And you're just having the shit beat out of you. Uh, 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 gingers do have souls, dude, is now a woman. Well, you'll never be. You'll always be a man. Thank you for the $2. But I don't know. Is that real? Is he actually? I'm not, I'm not sure. Damn. The body shots from a uh, client, dude. Nasty front kick to the body finish. But to be fair, you know, that was the, the step down in competition for Ludovic Klein. You know, he's had a pretty tough run of things recently in his career. How about it, though? Christian Leroy Duncan, better than Roman Kopilov? Question mark. What are we thinking, chat? Is he better than the, the Roman Kopilov? Because he didn't get wobbled by Ribeiro. Couldn't help but notice. Fight's on. Gray shirt clip this. What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? I didn't say anything. Round one though. Anders versus Pickett. Isn't Pickett a type of fence chat in the US? Isn't it like that American dream type thing? I remember reading about picket fences in uh, Of Mice and Men. Isn't that an American style of fencing or some shit? Like you hear about the uh, the picket fence is like a, an American dream, like to have your own picket fence and green fields and flowers and kids running around and dogs playing in the garden, you know? That was like a big part of Mice and Men was them just thinking about the future optimistically. Don't tell me bit Tim Bed and Rabbit, George. Single leg here for uh, Eric Anders. Now remember, Bo Nickel couldn't achieve this without a groin shot. <laughs> Anders should be kneeing the thigh here. On the bare minimum, knee the thigh, brother. Knee the thigh, brother. Knee the fucking thigh, brother. Knee that shit up now. Knee it. Knee the thigh, brother. Knee that fucking thigh. Do it now. I'm sick and tired of you, brother. Knee that fucking thigh. Body shot from Anders. Knee to the body from Pickett. 
or it was a white picket fence. It was a white picket fence. Yeah, it was. <sighs> Need to the body from uh, picket again. Hold on now. Anders doing nothing with this position. Zilch. <sighs> Going to go for a Polish throw. Can't get it. He needs the thigh. Punches the body. Punches the body again. Gets a knee to the body. Separates. They swanging, y'all. They swanging. And Pickett looks sourced up for this one. Good left hand from Anders. Misses the second one. Oh, he got stumbled by Pickett there with a right hand nearly. He's good, though. Mr. Pooh Man, poo me a dream. Body kick from Anders, shoots in. Single leg, can't he get it? I doubt it, but he gets to the double here. This is big, he's got this. Good one from uh, Anders here to get the takedown. Put some butter on there now. Put some hot sauce on there now. Put a whole stick of butter on there now. And covered it up with your Cajun seasoning now. Pickett was grabbing the cage there, referee. I'll have you know. And has got the back control here. Not much has happened this round, so he's probably going to get the round if he keeps this. But, oh no, here we go. Good job by Pickett to escape. And shoots a single leg again. Oh, nearly a great fucking... Uh... Oh, good knee to the body from Anders. Good left hand from Anders as well. But good job! Dropped Anders at the end of round one. Sorry. Sorry. Got a bit overexcited there. Oh, Anders hustles all the way through, though, to a double leg. Nice work from Anders, dude. This is going to be a picket round now. Good punch from Anders. And he's in dominant position here. He should just crank the head. Get a grip under that armpit and crank the fucking head here. I doubt he gets a finish. The problem is Anders now knows if he chain wrestles, he can win. Good knee. Misses the left hook. Anders is just so slow. That's the problem. Oh, God, Anders. Speed up, mate. Fucking hell. Good knee to the body, though. He eats another punch. Shoots in again. He's got this. No, changes it to the body lock. Should look to separate a knee one more time. He just throws a couple of knees. All right, round one pick it because he dropped him. Impression of Darren Till, but it looks like Anders might be uh, going to win this one. Impression of Darren Till telling Soy Bender Adesanya to stop being Royal Roy Dog. Mates, fucking man up and be straight, lad, or I'll fucking raw dog, you little fucking pimp. You little gimpy Kai Kara France, mate. Don't make me fucking raw dog, the fucking team twink. Kai Kara. Thank you for the five pounds. Are you ill? I just felt shit for the past few days, but I'm good though. I'm not ill. I'm just, uh, you know, you just feel shit. Like dog shit. Like fucking dog shit. Fucking dog shit. Fucking dog shit. What's next for Grant Dawson? I don't know. You've seen Gracie convert, yeah. Guru looks healthy. Thanks, man. Not really, though. Thank you, JG. Welcome to the membership program, dude. Beware being let down at least twice a week. <sighs> Here we go. Inside low kick from Jamie Pickett. 
Excuse yourself, pig. Yeah, sorry. I was good on members streams this week. Lucas's stream crashed. <laughs> People suffering the problems that I suffer sometimes just makes me happy. Maybe this is my thing about fat people falling over and stuff, you know? <laughs> it really crashed. <laughs> Anders has pick it up against the cage. <laughs> Lucas Tracy. <laughs> He started his stream an hour before I did. <laughs> he got here on time. <laughs> he works so much harder than me. <laughs> he just crashed. Look who's clicked all tab F4. <laughs> He actually got on the card on time and he just crashed his whole fucking stream. <laughs> uh. knee, a knee to the body from Eric Anders and knee back from Jamie Pickett. Another knee from Pickett. Good shot from Anders again. <laughs> uh. Dude, Anders is so open to that right-hand counter. <laughs> good shot from anders good double leg here this is big there you go good job he's got it that's fucking hilarious <laughs> i know dude. lucas is better though for real he does put in more work but it'll never be the same Sometimes you just got that thing. Shot no man. The MMA guru is that thing. Oh, and is way too premature on the back take. But he's still back up and still chain wrestling. Dude, and his chain wrestle is chain wrestling is impressive for someone uh, who didn't wrestle. Coming into the sport. Single leg for Anders. We'll see if he works it here. He's trying to trip out the rear leg. Nearly good balance by Pickett, to be fair. Anders frames off. Pickett throws a shot. Good shot back from Anders. Pickett way faster. He just needs to let his hands go. Knee to the body from Anders. But that counter right for Pickett is there. He just never throws it. Knee, good punch from Anders. Oh, Anders cracked him there. Anders cracked him. Good knee to the body. Shoots in. This is good. He's got it. Nice. That's what I like about Anders, dude. He finishes the position, you know? Certain fighters, they can eat, they can get the good position. Oh, mount for Anders. Mount at the end of the round. Pickett looks like he might be able to escape into half guard. There he does. <laughs> Got to watch the back take, though. And has got to get a few shots off here just to secure the round. Lucas Tracy looks weird. Can't enjoy his content. What, and I look normal? That's not an excuse. Andre Drummond is hanging in there. Okay. <laughs> Look at him five. Watch the back of the head now, Anders. Watch the fucking back of the head. Stop. Why do it, though? Why fucking do it, you idiot? Need the body here. Brace on the fucking back of the head with your forearm. Stop hitting the back of the head. And fucking knee the body in this position. Please stop punching the back of the head. Oh, he's just done it again. Right, whatever. Should Bryce Mitchell move to bantamweight? No. He got warned about the back of the head shot, sir. No. Arguably, actually, yes. Bryce Mitchell should move to bantamweight, yeah. I think you did drugs in South Africa and that's why you're so sad recently because you liked it. I did. I drank alcohol in South Africa. I was drunk, but no, it wasn't that. 
I actually didn't enjoy South Africa that much. And I thought I really would. And I thought it was something that I needed to do. So that's what's going to make me happy. And it was just another dead end. <laughs> oh, God, life is funny. I'll do this and then things will, and then I'll enjoy life. Nope. Uh, I'm good, though. I'll be fine. Can't commit suicide just for fucking cowards, mate. Lucas came back just to leave his stream. No, he didn't. Here we go. Round three. Fight. Do, 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 Come to America, it'll make you happy, maybe. Shot from Anders. What's worse, karate or taekwondo? I have no idea. Taekwondo's worse, I'd say. Anders gets the double leg again, it's in. He's got it. Nice work from Anders. Half guard on top. Nice work. No, I don't need a girlfriend chat. No, I actually think chat, whether you like it or not, I know you guys always tell me, get a girlfriend, get a girlfriend. First of all, I don't want to get a girlfriend because I don't think I'm actually like, I don't think I can. I, I just think I can't tolerate another human being like at all. So nothing's ever going to be a serious relationship for anytime soon. Um, but if I did have a girlfriend chat, I'm guarantee you it'll be the end of my channel. Yes or no in chat. If I got a girlfriend, it would end my channel. Unless my girlfriend was autistic and edgy and weird. And in that case, it might just start way more drama and then backfire anyway. But I, I, I think it would be over if I had a girlfriend. Because it would literally be like, I heard what you said yesterday on stream. You really think that? <laughs> I'd be like, what? Oh, fuck, dude. That'd be so bad. Imagine having to answer for your fucking words. Crazy. Never me. Full guard on top for Anders. <laughs> Women are like that, bro. I don't know, dude. Good elbow from Anders. Cuts open, pick it. No, but I'd also have to go out certain evenings. Why aren't you coming out? It's Saturday. I can see that being a thing. Anyone else? It's fucking Saturday and you're in again on the fights. But it's but it's Rosenstreich Gaziev. You have to understand. Good shots from Anders, dude. This might get stopped. Pickett's in an unmovable position. This could be stopped. If Anders keeps going. No, good job by Pickett. Rolls all the way over. Pickett was in. No, Anders. Don't rush the back take, mate. Calm down. Calm it down. Good shots from Anders there. Move to America. Come enjoy the Wild West. The Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. Going outside is a good thing, Gary. All right, dude. How about you shut your dirty mouth? <laughs> How about that, you slag? The Wild Wild West. The Secret Podcast. Yeah, good takedowns from Anders, dude. I actually appreciate Eric Anders' chain wrestling.
the wild wild west get a lady who supports your beers they exist i know surely they do trust me I've, i'm on instagram mate i get some dms but i think any i don't we're gonna meet a female through the channel no way that's never gonna happen but um yeah never anders glove cut pick it okay who cares bro let me make you smells like what's it i don't smell like fucking what's it at all i'll have you know and i can't believe you'd even fucking say such a thing You have plenty of females with cute cocks hitting up your DMs. You know, you know what it is? It's like fuckable females in my DMs that are just, you can just tell they're autistic by their profile. <laughs> so I just fucking keep my fucking distance, you know what I mean? Not to isolate them based on that, but just, you know, that's a recipe for disaster. Come on, bro. <clears throat> Good fight from uh, Pickett and Anders. Not really. Actually kind of shit, but it is what it is. You're far out ground up this way. I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to burn up this way. Start going to the gym. I literally have one in my house, so I should. Women like when you prioritize your passion, them, they may complain, but you don't have to be to give them a lot of time, just good quality time. True. Just a good old boner now and again. One of them strong boners. Would you ever be a passport, bro? No, 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 no. no that's weird as fuck. Thank you for the two dollars. Get with a nurse; they'll have the same sleep schedule as you. True. That's a good take. So you're saying jump in front of a car, get saved, and hope that they're hot, and then riz them from the operating table. <laughs> Hitting with some one-liners on the operating table. You ever seen a set of ribs like this, girl? <laughs> Good win from Anders. Solid performance by Anders. Still somehow better than Gary versus Neil, which is sad. Yeah, true. Hey, it is a good performance. But it wasn't fun. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Anders rarely has fun fights. Thank you for the membership, Ed Mayer. Biggest robbery in UFC history. Dude, this was a very clear Anders win. You shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Right, we on the main card now? God damn. Chad, is it just me or do, we, do you feel like the prelims are like two fights now? Didn't it feel that way recently? Like every card this year, I feel like the prelims have been like three fights long. Crazy. That was the worst because I missed them all. I know. <laughs> that was the worst fight I have seen in so long. Lord Almighty on a cross. Midweights are so garbage. They are. But I still glazed the fuck out of Anders. Right. Let me watch back uh, Christian Leroy Duncan's fight real quick. Any plans for 200K subs? Not really. Maybe, maybe move to America. Prelims have been pretty good this year. Nice. Is it just me or are there mountain dwelling inbreds in every weight class now? They're, where the fuck did Gazi have come from? I know. He's from Bahrain, actually. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. The inbreds are here. They have come. Yeah, Christian Leroy Duncan, just way bigger than Ribeiro. 
Is that not what the sport's all about, chat? Like, just be big for your division, for fuck's sake. Be tall and be big for your division. That's literally the sport these days, man. It's sad, but that's just how it is. If you get hit by a car, either don't have a watch the next Apex card or get a women. True. I'll time it, though. I don't want to miss UFC 299. Dude, the spinning elbow from Leroy Duncan. He's so good, man. Prelims were okay. How close do you think this card was? is to what was offered to the Saudis. Oh, Jesus. This is not exactly what was offered. No. <laughs> no, they must have been planning something else and then they sort of just didn't go along with it because they didn't need to. I bet you there'd be a shift of a UFC 300 fight or UFC 299 fight for this if it was in Saudi. Uh, uh. Dude, CLD is so good. Is he not? I can't believe he lost his first fight to Armin Petrosian. But he was just doing too much. You know what I mean? With the wheel kicks and shit. So he just ended up getting out, out tit for tatted pretty much. He literally just beat up Ribeiro on the feet. Did whatever he wanted to him on the feet. Held him up against a cage, knee to the body, rear elbows, wrist control, seeing every shot coming, Ribeiro covering up, another big elbow, another elbow, right hand, ducks under, realizes Ribeiro swinging hard, backs the fuck up out of there. They just put Tyson Pedro's nickname as the pleasure man on the promo? Nowhere. That's insane. Thank you for the $5. Impression of Nurse Goddard getting rizzed on by a patient. Hey, buddy. Hey, listen. Hey, I got your fucking spleen in my fucking hand here. Hey, focus on the fucking job at hand. Thank you for the $2. He tried to wheel kick out of that fucking catched kick or caught kick, should I say. And then spun around the clinch. Wait, so he finished him in round two then? Hey, Hollywood, nice to see you made time for the UFC today. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Got his own double leg, got side control, got mount, beat the fucking piss out of him. All right, nice. Thank you for the $5. I know this card wouldn't draw a great crowd, but we definitely need to get out of the Apex for fuck's sake. News flash, you, uh, COVID's over. Like, this card is what the Apex is for. <coughs> Right, chat? Like, this should be arguably the first Apex card of the year. Hoping Bisping breaks character again, yeah, and goes full based. Right, chat? Like, this should be the only Apex card of the year. Like, if this was the Apex card of the first two months of the year, I'd be like, yeah, sure, that's the first Apex card. You know what I mean? Makes sense. But seeing as, like, this is just one amongst many, it ruins it. Jesus Christ, thank you guys. Uh, Haney Sawyer, he got mad. Ryan didn't say happy holidays. I know, so Sawyer. Nick Diaz looking real slim in one of his recent Instagram posts, seeing they got The Rock playing Mark Kerr in The Smashing Machine. That doesn't make any sense. They don't have him playing Mark Kerr. Thank you very much for the five pounds. Yeah, Nick Diaz always looks slim, and then when he's about to fight, he looks like a fat fucking goblin. I think Bexat will have a good show in thoughts. I think he could. I I'm just picking the, uh, the odds that he gets subbed. Because I think he will get sub, to be honest with you. Oh, Minty Bets. Oh, Minty, Minty. Minty Bets. Thank you for the $5. Steve Erseg looks like my bro-in-law who ruined my bloodline. Please send Guru Telepathic Knockout to him. I just did. Thank you very much, Pussyfoot. The age of men is over. The time of the inbred is here. True. Very true. Dude, you're right, dude, about Steve Erseg. Not, not about bro-in-law, actually. You didn't even say this, but I'll say it. Steve Erseg just looks like he should be KO'd. Guru, how hard will you laugh if Umar loses? Uh... <laughs> not at all. Thank you for the $10. I literally imagined it in my head as you said it and laughed. So it is what it is. They had Steve Ursex picture as Sumo Dwerji's fucking name. No women's MMA fights today, thank God. Okay, we did just watch Anders fight. though. pretty close. Thank you for the $10, everything MMA. Appreciate you.
How much of UFC 300 a member stream? Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Literally killed a channel dead. No way. Um, impression of Bisping Goddard. Hey, buddy off. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey, boy, boy. Thank you for the two months of membership. Urseg kind of looks like Derek Zoolander. True. He does. He actually looks like FaZe Rug, but it is what it is. <laughs> Steve, that's like Ben Stiller. <laughs> yeah. Uh, isn't stupid Justin and Max are fighting each other? Both should be fighting the champs. I'm all in favor of delaying legacy of inbreds. <laughs> and no, UFC 300 would be trash otherwise. And listen, dude, it's not like Makash ever be ready to fight before June anyway. He said he was injured. So I don't know why everyone's saying that shit, dude. We have to wait till June anyway. Jones is doing everything except fight Aspinall. True. Very true. And also, uh, Ilya Tapiri said he's out till October, November. So, yeah. Chad Ref getting a hug off that cut woman. What a milf. Do you think Bisping says, hey, buddy, to himself? Yeah, he must do. Steve Ersing looks like the amalgamation of every kid that gets bullied. True. Very true. And Matt Schnell is like the bully, right? This is This is the old tale, as old as time. And Matt Schnell's like the, the 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 jock bully. He's a flyweight, so he's not a jock, but you know what I mean. He's the bully, dude. But it turns out he has real insecurities at the end of the film. And Steve Ersek's character is the one who's really at peace with himself, right, chat? Cheeto plus one ninety should be a bigger dog. Am I wrong? No, it makes sense. He's unfinishable, and O'Malley's got to be good for five rounds. Difficult test. Did you see the video of Walker and Shadaput? I did not. I did not see that video. <laughs> I did not. Wap, 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 wap. <laughs> right, Matt Schnell, Steve Ersig. Are we really talking about the toughness of Matt Schnell? You know, chat, that's never, that's always been something the UFC have just refused to admit on commentary when they've never been able to accept a fighter's chin in. You know what I mean? They've never said that. That a fighter's just chin in. You know what I mean? They never say that shit. They always like, tough as they count. They, this guy's as tough as they come. You know what I mean? Maybe Sumo Dwerji hits like a bitch. Ursaig looks like he ate too many bananas. What? Runner-up takes me to paradise. It's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot you low. Shannon Ross from Friends, yeah. Sure. Guru, have you got a chin? I do actually have a great chin. I've never been wobbled once, ever. Wait, why is there a bone sticking out of Ursig's chest? Are you guys seeing that shit? Like a dislocated rib or some shit? Or is that how his chest always is? Mm. Bro, I'm in Bruno Mars. Yeah, it's just on adverts and shit. It looks fucked up. Yeah. Pectus cavatum. Okay. He has bad chest genetics. Soy jeans, little bro. Steve Ursig. That hairy chest. Hey, my hairy chest brother, brother. You know what I'm talking about right there, brother? I hate to shave my fucking chest. But I'm not going to. What do you guys think about that? 
clean shaven chest or do you guys guys like having hairy chest i like my chest hair and body hair in general i think chest hair looks good and also i think cheat system as well if you've got some excess body fat chat chest hair in a way in the way that it grows it makes you look like you have better pecs than you do <laughs> So I let my chest hair grow out. Oh, wow. Matt Schnell's already got wobbled by a right hand there. They're in the clinch. Knee to the body from her. Seg. Elbow. Both guys are swinging here, though. I mean, kind of looks a bit like uh, Ray Romano. Is that the guy? Hey, what's up, guy? To me, Ray Romano here. That thing looks like he bulks to flyweight cancer. All right, dude. Jesus. These guys aren't statistically short. That's the weirdest part. They're in the smallest division. But they're both like 5'8", which is at the average height. That's like looking for that left hook counter. Throw the jab back up. Throw the left hook. There's the jab. Get it going. <laughs> no kicks from Erseg yet. Looking for his punches. Hey, Guru, how are you today? I'm doing good, man. I'm better now. I'm just Oh, good shots from both ish both guys landed with their forearms doing good man thank you for the two dollars good attempt by uh Erseg. lands a good knee to the body and uh schnell's cut over above the eye wow good right hand from Erseg. dude schnell's feet went a bit funny there as well dude any shot that lands clean just fucking fucking Messes up them fucking legs. What does Schnell mean in German, chat? Bit of random trivia for you. Good low kick from Erseg. That was good. What are you thinking, chat? Oh, dude, Erseg's boxing is looking pretty crisp. He just missed that one too, but he's getting close. It means fast, quickly. It does. It means quick. Fitting name for a smaller German flyway, isn't it? Good left hook from uh, Matt uh, Erseg again. Tell you, do the left hooks there for him. Jab, back up, left hook. Jab, shift, left. He's cut open Schnell pretty bad. Oh, Schnell landed there. Good low kick from Schnell. Good right hand from Erseg. Schnell getting a bit sloppy now. Good body kick from Erseg. And this is kind of like Schnell's career on the line a little bit, right? I don't see them offering him many more fights. They pay him quite a bit. Then he has then again, he is always good to like get a flyweight to win against. I'm really, really basically jinxing Erseg to lose here. But he just tagged Schnell again. And oh, he's tagged him again with a right hand, dude. Erseg's boxing looking crisp. Body shot, head shot. Oh, he got cracked back by Schnell. Schnell cracked him back. Everybody watch their P's and Q's. Uh, Seg Chickenberger. He does look a bit like Clayton's world, but with a bigger nose. Thank you for the $2, William Broadley. Chickenberger. No chin. TKO. No chin. No chin. No, no chin. Everybody loves Raymond, yeah. Single leg here from Erseg. Terrible attempt, though. And he fails it. I just died at the chicken burger. <laughs> oh, right hand from Erseg again. Schnell going to get slept. It looks that way. 
Oh, another one, two from Ursek. Jab as well. Bam, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make me feel like. What race would you guess Steve Erseg is, chat? <laughs> I knew the answers. Would you rather look like Erseg or MMA Joey? Um, I, don't know, I think Joey can be fixed. I can fix him. If I took over Joey, I could fix at least the first 40 pounds of body fat. <laughs> Former English. You know what, chat? English. You guys all say Jew and all this type of shit. Urseg is actually very English, Scottish looking. If you're from the UK, you kind of know what I'm talking about. There's always that one English or Scottish guy or so-and-so guy who looks a bit like him. Could even be French. Italian. Dude, he could be from anywhere. He could actually be from anywhere. Yeah, Mr. Bean. Oh! oh, oh, oh! Left hook from Urseg. Oh, shit. I told you. Oh, my God. I fucking told you. I should have said that on Twitter. I literally did put it on Twitter as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, what a KO. Dude, Schnell just doesn't have the chin for it, man. Sad to see. It is what it is. Dude, I literally said jab, pull back, left hook. Did I not? I called that shit. Wow. Holy shit. <clears throat> right here it is is it the jab pull back left hook dude i fucking called that shot i've got to get extra credit for that clap track trick on my picks i called that fucking shot i literally said jab left hook Ooh, wow i said jab left hook off the same off the left thank you for the membership s uh alamane appreciate that dude Steven Seagal by KO, yeah. Thank you for the seven Canadian dollars. <laughs> do, 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 do. do, 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 do. Thank you for the gifted membership, dude. What an insane finish. That was great from Urseg. Dude, this has been a great card so far. Urseg smokes Roy Val and Moreno, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> the nose though what the fuck is the problem with his nose this isn't even an insane card to be honest yeah no. not bad though great card so far yeah twitter stream I know dude I know is what it is. Sucks for Schnell, dude. Because what do you do, chat? 
Like, seriously, what do you do? Like, Schnell's got that look on his face right now. Like, what the fuck do I do? I cannot take punishment at flyweight. Where do you go? Wrestle, I guess, but he's not got wrestling. Mr. Bean with a KO. <laughs> Did not, is so, does not make sense for an Australian accent to come out of this guy. <laughs> That's such a weird thing. I didn't expect that voice. No chin, too much damage. Thank you for the $2, Diamond Gilk. Great win by Ursek, to be fair. I don't care how he sounds. Looks like Steve Carell. Yeah. Thank you for the $5, SEJ. There you go. Commentators can't help but leak personal info and dox people in the middle of their fights. Can they, chat? What if he didn't want anyone to know what his fucking fiance's name was? DC literally just chucking out govies on the fucking uh, broadcast. Commentary can't fucking help themselves, but dox people on the <laughs> Literally dox people. You know, I'm sure you could have a great party on Rodeo Drive. It's like, whoa, whoa, hold on. What the fuck? Um, thank you for the... Two dollars. Happy birthday, Dad. Glad you're enjoying the card. Thank you, man. Is making a commitment to your wife to live happily until death do you part a new mythical ability? I guess so. Yeah, happy first. Egg. Yeah, I guess because he got engaged. Maybe. Yeah. Here we go. Flyweight Peter Yan at bantamweight. He just looks like a flyweight. Um, what is that voice? That doesn't match at all. Yeah, weird one. He can, it sounds like a voice changer on COD or some shit. Think you could do an amateur MMA in the UK? Maybe. Maybe. Thank you for the $5. If I make enough money in my life, I'd love to give back somehow to the UK. Problem is, it's hard to give back to the UK knowing that you're not giving back to UKers. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem with uh, this this whole situation at the moment. Makes people not want to invest in their country. Thank you for the $5. Fun fact, do you know eating a spoonful of cayenne pepper powder can actually elevate your hemorrhoid pain? The more you know. Thank you for the $5. Appreciate that. Thank you for the $5. Everything MMA. Schnell should move up to ban some weight so we can get Yan back in the win column with a highlight real KO. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate that. Get Yan back in the win column. True. Just get Yan a free KO win. Watch him lose to Schnell though. Hard to not feel bad. Hard not to feel bad for Matt. I know, dude. He seems like a pretty based Chad, but it's unfortunate. David Schwimmer kicking some ass. Yeah. Pivots! Pivots! Thank you for the $2. Erseg looks like a gay Dominic Cruz. All right. Thank you for the membership. Steve Erseg is bedtime MMA. No, he's not. <laughs> Dude, Friends had some good fucking shows. When I was a kid watching Friends, I used to find that shit funny. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Erseg sounds like a zesty Eugene Behrman. Okay. Friends is Sawyer. It, it isn't, though. Friends when I was a kid was an enjoyable watch. I remember getting home from Taekwondo chat. This is so wholesome for me. I remember getting home from Taekwondo as like a 14 year old, not even, maybe younger, 12, 11 year old, maybe 10 year old. Getting home from Taekwondo, legs aching, growing pains killing my fucking legs. I used to have such bad growing pains in my legs. And uh, leaving my feet up, taking my socks off from Taekwondo and having tuna pasta mayonnaise. That was my combination, tuna pasta bake. That was so good, dude. Who am I? I'm obnoxious and loud. Stand out in a crowd. If there was a murder, it was surely me on the trigger. You guessed it. I'm just your average. Shut up, dude. Um, 
Impression of Brendan Fitzgerald being told live on air through his earpiece that Laura Sanko will be replacing him permanently. And I am sorry to inform everybody that uh, I'm being replaced in seeking of diversity for an annoying bitch that will yammer over finishes. Uh, a zesty Eugene Berman, okay. Do you think Makayev gets to sub? I think he wins it, yeah. I think he wins it. It's just that Perez has been so easily subbed by others. At least Makayev has struggled to do it, you know? Hope you're having a good weekend, Pigster. Thank you, man. I'm enjoying it. Is anybody in the chat not racist? I don't think anybody's not racist, whether they admit it or not. <laughs> Who's with me on that one, chat? Nobody is not racist. Nobody. Everybody is, dude everybody whether they admit it or not and then people might say no but dude everybody is man everybody is <clears throat> we all racist yeah whether you like it or not Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry. Everybody's racist by today's standards is what I should say, right? It doesn't necessarily make them a racist, but based on today's standards of it, everybody is, I think. Literally everybody on earth. No way around it. What is racist? I just know for a fact, if you were an employer and you had to do a job interview and there were people who exactly matched up exactly the same everywhere. But one of them was like a Arab guy. One of them was a black guy. And one of them was a white guy. You'd pro you'd very likely pick the guy that is you in a way. Very, very likely. If there's not much else separating them, that's not racist, but by today's standards, it would be considered. So thank you for the $2. Some people are just less honest than others. True. Very true. It's not we all hate some group. It's just prefer to be around your own is, is like a type. It's like a, a thing for everybody. You know, it just is. That is 100% racist. It's willful ignorance. Yeah. Everyone would do it though. Thank you for the membership. Appreciate you. M, M Smith 34. Only 3K falling over. It's fucking Rosenstreich Gautier, mate. Give me a break. Do, 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 do. I love buzzwords like Islamophobic again. No, I hate Mexicans. Call it what you want, but it's something everybody does. I know. It just is, man. You just can relate to people that are similar to you a bit more. Or you guess that you could relate to people that are more similar to you more. You assume that you would, right? So if you don't know anything else, that's sort of something that you'd sort of gamble on. Like, I'm not going to take a risk of being at complete opposites with this guy. I think there's a less likelihood I'll be at complete ends with this guy because he's similar to me. You know what I mean? Why am I disliking Paige more and more? MVP? I don't know. He just looks weird. That's tribalism, yeah. Thank you for the $2. Tribalism? Oh, there you go. There's what it is. That goes for everything, you know. Women would rather employ a woman. Yeah, I mean, if they could. Like, it's just how it is with every group of people. I don't think that's something that should be taken away. I think that's just how it is. Umana Magomedov. It's Umana Magomedov. Dude, if he loses, oh shit, dude. I've been watching this guy's fights. Al McCann, he's pretty good. It's just I don't like his lack of like sudden finishing potential, you know? I like a good bit of finishing potential. When you when you're gonna pick an underdog, you know. Umar gets to sub here, I think. Re naked. Look at my European over here. What a guy. What a dweeb. What a dude. And it's quite good. What a guy. Omar is about to go night-night. We'll see. I think so. 
I doubt. I know. I know. Umar won't. Umar won't. But this guy will. This guy. This fucking guy. Yeah. Minus one thousand four hundred. It's disgusting. They just don't want people making money off of it because it's likely to happen. You know, it's not about the odds. It's about like the odds really would be like minus three hundred. But they don't want any profit margin for people betting. MVP looks like the homeless crackhead that you would find outside of a one stop at three a.m. Okay. Interesting. There you go. Fucking song plays in every fucking convenience store in the UK. It pisses me off. KSI is not good. Fuck, man. KSI is not good. Fuck, dude. So annoying. KSI would sleep the whole UFC roster here. KSI number one boxer. No, dude, KSI literally, his song is literally playing in every fucking convenience store. Just to basically make kids think this is the cool spot. I thought you were whistling Creep by Radiohead. How the fuck is that in any way close to KSI, whatever the song's called? You're my holiday. They changed Best Cat's record from 17 to 1 to 11 to 1. Fake record, but I'm going to get killed. I know, dude. I've heard all about this. I'm very aware. I'm very aware. Uh, <laughs> that's my alarm clock to get up. <laughs> Going off at 10 to 10 p.m. Or 20 to 10 p.m., sorry. Let me switch off my alarm. Wait, what I thought was crazy. Yeah. He's still 16 and one, uh, one here. But some of his fights didn't have elbows allowed. Is that what it is, chat? I think that's what it is, right, chat? He's five and two, imagine, yeah. He's literally two and one. All, nearly all of his wins are not, not counted. I think it's like they weren't allowing elbows in some of his fights. Which is weird because PFL literally will count shit like that as pro MMA bouts. But if you modify... Oh, I'm five and two. Okay. Not bad. Umar by Gooch suck. Okay. See what I mean about the build of the two of them, chat? Umar's taller and he's broader. How? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Umar's taller and his shoulders are larger and his arms are longer. And he's broader at the hips, broader at the shoulders, larger chest, larger back, larger legs. Like, he's just larger in every way. Like, he's insane. But normally it's like, okay, well, this guy's taller, but he's a bit thinner. That's normally how you would expect it to work, right? But I'm telling you, dude, Umar is fucking massive at bantamweight. I'd love to see his uh, on on uh, fight night wait you know what I mean <laughs> the other guy's dense maxing yeah maybe even his head is broader yeah true even his head's larger insane right looks like his hands are bigger as well I don't know how they're the same weight class it doesn't make sense to me but I guess we'll see soon long Umar L hairline receding as a Dagestani. Can you imagine receding as a Dagestani chat? <clears throat> How many layup fights are they going to give this little inbred bitch? <laughs> dude, no one will fight him. And no one will fight Saeed Namagomedov. What don't you get, dude? Hey, how about you match them up against each other? <laughs> Shut up. No one will fight him. Thank you for the $5. We need someone to interview MVP. And Holland together, so MVP can tell Holland to his face he doesn't have karate or point fighting style. True. Oh, yeah, we do need to do an interview. Yeah. 
We need more round tables that they did for Till and Masvidal. Anyone remember that shit? They did it for AJ and, jo uh, and Garnu. We need more of that shit. I'm watching the fight. Oh! Oh, we might got dropped! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Umar gets the takedown, though. I don't think he got dropped. I don't think he got dropped. Uh-oh! I don't know if he got dropped. We need to check it again. We need to... Somebody need to check this, brother. Somebody need to check this. Uh-oh! Did he get clipped? I feel like he got hit by, like, the bicep of Al McCann and got sort of body-weighted over, but he might have got clipped. Oh, shit, dude. But he's got the takedown here, which is good for him. And he's walking over. He's probably going to get mount soon as well. Al McCann needs to keep his leg high. Umar's so strong in this position. Good elbow from Umar. Good punch. Amakan gets to his hips. Watch his back, though. Needs to watch his back here. He can maybe sit back into Uma if he keeps wrist control and keeps his leg up high like he's doing. This is a smart thing. He's trying to clear his hips. No, Uma gets the body back, the body lock on the back. All right, let's see what Amakan's defense is like here. Would love to see that replay in the bottom left corner or some shit. <clears throat> How did he survive, man? I don't think he really got clipped, chat. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think he really got clipped. He's trying to get this body triangle in as well on Al McCann. Al McCann's got good thin hips for this, though, right? He's got a really thin frame. So this is actually pretty good for a uh, back back defense. Martinez wrecks Umar. All right, don't just start chucking out now. Dude, Sandhagen would have finished him after that. I don't know, though. I don't know if he got dropped. I want to watch it again. <laughs> Elbow to the back of the head from Umar there. And another back of the head shot. Okay, I can fight in the body triangle. He got out of it. He's trying to scoot his hips, but Umar's big inbred feet are just uh, locking down this position at the moment. Doing a good job fighting the hands, though. And getting high up as well, so the angle is off for Uma. Yeah, he should be trying to throw a few punches back. Two on one. He's hooking the glove with his thumb there. The ref needs to check that. He's hooking uh, Umar's glove with his thumb on that right side. Ref needs to step in there. Okay, he stopped. Good scramble by Uma on top. Good job by uh, Almakan, though, to escape the back take. Butterfly hook from Almakan. Umar still on top, though. Full guard back for Almakan. That's good for him. Good for him. If Umar didn't do too much more damage, I still, if that was a knockdown, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um... Elbow from Uma. 1 0 Almakan. DC glazing Habib again. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's friends with him, you know what I mean? And Habib is great. Like, you are allowed to have some props for him, you know? Elbow again from Uma. Another elbow. I mean, shit, it might still be Uma's round. It looked like a bit more of an off balance knockdown. We'll have to see. Hopefully, they show it here. I mean, they're definitely going to show it. You know what I mean? It's a big moment.
Dude, Amakan looks fucking broken in the corner. Right, let's see that replay. Let's see that replay. They ain't even speaking English in the corner anyway. Why are we showing the corners? Let's see that replay. Let's see that replay. Hello? We must at least get it when they're both stood up or some shit. Like, we need to know if that was a fucking knockdown or not. Hello? We just get out like that didn't happen? Let's see the replay quick. I'm not watching adverts. I'm watching the, the, the thing and they're still not showing no fucking replay. Right, round two then, I guess. Jesus Christ. All right, no fucking replay, I guess. Almacan bleeding from his nose here. Lands a right hand there on Uma. But I'm just interested to see what... Look how much smaller he looks, dude. Good, good right hand there. Bounces off the forehead of Uma, though. Uma still ready to throw back. Dude, Almacan's leaning out of the way of those low kicks a bit much. Uma could throw that question mark kick up high off that rear leg. And it'd work, I think, if he went for it. Good stiff jab from Uma, and he's got the single. Initial defense, not bad from Almakan, but Umar just gets to his position. Very good stuff. And he's on top in full guard. Right, you know what I'm going to do, chat? I'm going to just assume that Umar don't finish him in the next two minutes. I'm going to go back and see if it was a knockdown. In round one. Let's have a look. Oh, shit, it was. It actually was. He caught him right behind his ear, chat. They just showed it? Fuck, dude. Did they really do it? They literally showed it? Fuck, never mind. All right, I'm back live. Fuck, worst timing ever, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, my bad. Anyway, we're still in half guard. <clears throat> Good job by Almacan. Watch the armbar, though. Great job by Almacan. Illegal kick. No, he's good. That was good. Okay. Okay. I thought that was going to be illegal. Good job by Almacan to get back up, dude. He's showing some good fucking moments here. I thought he'd be a bit of a walkover. He just seemed a bit weak on the regionals. Umar diving for the singles again. Jesus Christ. All they fucking do. All good, though. Diving way out in the open for the single leg there, Umar. But, you know, it's getting him to win. Good job by Almakan to get his guard back. Love to see Almakan versus some other bantamweights, you know. Just to see out like what we can sort of rank this guy as. Good full mount from Umar. That was a really nice job slicing into full mount. Almakan's got to try and angle to try and get his feet to the cage. This is a bad position for him to be in, dude. They're dry. Two minutes left. He bucks. He needs to try and find a way to get to use the cage here. Umar's slicing with elbows. Good punches here as well. Al McCann's got a scramble, but he's stuck in this position. He tries to see, he just gets up. All right then, Al McCann. Fair fucking play, mate. All right, dude. Okay. He just gets right up. Good shit. <laughs> All right, dude. I thought that was over. Oh, he's fucking diving for the single at range again. There you go. Umar's got the single leg again. He's 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 going for the back. Just diving in the open. Almakan scrambles. He's going to get up an arm triangle. No. Nope. Tucks his arm. Good job. Mount again, though, for Umar. This is big. And he's cut open Almakan as well. I think now what you should do is hit to submish.
Bucks out, gets the underhooks, needs to survive this round. He's got short time left, 45 seconds. More punches from Umar. Not really getting through, though. Most of these hitting the forearms of Al McCann, who bucks again. And gets the fuck up! Nearly! Nearly just gets the fuck up again. What the fuck? Umar might go Kimura here. Dude, that is insane how strong this guy is, actually. What is that on his back? It's it's Al McCann's blood on his back. It's not acne. <laughs> Shut up, chat. Them roids on his back. It's literally Al McCann's blood on his back. He's looking for the choke. Come on, give Al McCann another round. Come on. All right, I think we're getting another round out of Al McCann here. Good shit. Martinez would stand up with ease. I don't know if he would, though. That's the thing. Right, round three. Let's see what Almakan has. It's not 1-1. One, one. So tired of that Dagestani infinite boring ass wrestling. I know. Thank you for the two five dollars though. He was going for a finish though. It's not that boring. You know, it's not like he's just holding on like Eric Anders. Almakan swinging them head kicks though. Two zero. I don't know, dude. If Almakan did drop him, you kind of have to give him round one. No? But everyone's got 2-0 Uma on Twitter. But I don't know. What did he do in round one? I need to rewatch how much damage he did in round one. Dude, Uma nearly caught him with a head kick there. <clears throat> dude, Almakan whiffed on that right hand. So close. Barely missed. Here comes the takedown from Uma. There it is. Single leg gets it. Good job by him up. Saw it coming. You can kind of see when he's like lulling you into the the uh, the takedown. You know, he does a lot of little fake little twitch movements before he, he shoots. A little elbows from Uma. Hey, anyway. Alma kept trying to get up against the cage here. Umar just very focused on keeping half guard. Back take from Umar. This is huge in round three, and he's got him in a real bad position here. Alma can look at his coaches. This could be a finish. 
He's not throwing anything, but if he was, it could be. Oh, good job by Almacan, to be fair. Scrambles up to his hip, gets his elbow down, but Umar's going to just ground him. Daggy and women's MMA fights, both toilet breaks and cards for real. I mean, it is what it is. They're good at grappling, you know? Warrior nation. They hook in the gloves or something, maybe. Umar just holding on to him here in the back position. Could be a mount on its way here. Yep, he gets the mount. We'll see what he does with it. Frio to Shafkat's little bro. No. DC slobbering over Umar is nauseating you. Yeah. I mean, this is like a short notice guy on a fucking week's notice, but, you know. Not getting the finish is kind of a bad look, but, I mean, he still won and out grappled him, you know. Umar imagining Almakan is a rowdy village sheep. <laughs> Does Umar look bigger than his last fights? But well, Almakan is small. That's what we were saying in the build up. Almakan is quite small. I don't think Umar looks bigger. I just think Almakan's quite small as a fighter. Almakan's fucked up his leg or some shit. Ah, uh, anyways, think about that's over. dull as fuck does almacan beat anybody in the top 10 i don't think so no i don't think he's that good but like he, he showed up and he didn't want to get finished i feel like you know what i mean strikers need more uppercut knee feints for wrestlers they do yeah they do it's risky though jdm versus hafez he put everything he tried to finish him he made it fun whooped him and he got hated for being laid on uma dropped and out grinds and gets glazed i know dude it's fucking lame but it is what it is Watching Bella's boring decisions has unironically made me appreciate grapplers who at least try and get a finish. Yeah, you got to rate Umar for trying to finish now and again. Um, wow, 30 20. They gave him the first. 30 25 is crazy. Thank you for the $2. He got the round he was dropped in. Every Umar fight from now on is a shit break. Yeah. So he got dropped and like rocked. He's admitting that he literally got switched off by that punch. But they gave him the round anyway. <laughs> he literally just said he was out and he woke up shooting for the single leg. 
Dude, look at DC and Umar. Light heavyweight bantamweight. And DC's got shoes on. Thank you for the $10. Umar wouldn't do well against Sean if he can get cracked. Marab would gas Umar. He's going to get humbled in the upper ranks. Bro's out of breath on the mic. Yeah, but it's, he's still won and he's winning. So he still can win. Sometimes these guys look bad against up-and-comers. And then, like, look at Makashev, you know? He takes Moises to the fourth round, finishes Oliveira in the first or the second. You know what I mean? Like, it's not always like that. But thank you for the $10. Basically, a little preview of the next fight. You're on, yeah. Thank you for the two euros, dude. I don't think he earns a Corey Sandhagen call out after that. I'm just going to be real with you. I don't think, I think it's like, what, maybe Henry Cejudo? Everyone, he says, they're pretty fun to watch, but I go through all their streams and it's the same boring expression. Congratulating daggers. Okay. <laughs> boring as hell. Thank you for the $2, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they just, you know what it is? They're scared of being called a casual for not appreciating it. But it is just the same shit most times. But um, it was good. You know, you got to appreciate the skill of it, you know? It was a good grappling skill. That, 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 that's that fight over. What fight's next? Ah, it's Makayev. Shit, it could be another stinker, but we'll see. We'll see. Do, 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 um, 30 minutes of crotch sniffing. Yeah. Is it Uman? Is it Makayev next? It is Perez Makayev next. All right. We'll see how this fight goes as well, I guess. Because this one could be another, you know. Thank you for the 18 AED. Do you still, I do remember you, Crimson. Yes. Do you still remember your day one subs? I do remember you, dude. Have you gone big time on us? No, I remember you. I remember you. Uh, minus 1,200 favorite, no sub threat. Knocked down hugs for dear life. I mean, he did nearly get a TKO, to be fair. Yeah, but that's why ranked fighters don't want to dance with him. All right, thanks for that $5, mate. You picked Poirier or did BS, dear? Uh, BS, dear. Benoit saint -Denis. He's got a good style to do it. I just don't like how square Poirier's hips are. I think it's too much for uh, Benoit Saint Denis chain double legs from his striking and his elbows and the way he grabs onto the forearms and shit. I just feel like it's uh, a good style to beat Poirier. It must just be the me that wasn't that boring. He did damage. Yeah, it wasn't that boring. Yeah, I'm not saying it was that boring. It was just like, yeah, whatever. Let's get through it, you know? Like, yeah, he did do some damage, you know? He landed some shots. Can you tell the boys to give me a shout out? Shout out, Bodente. Thank you for the $2. Like, I have the pride of England. Yeah, the pride of Wigan. Pie eater. Go and eat some pies, you Wigan cunt. Always insane to me, chat, how uh, fighters that get rear naked choked. I know it's obviously a painful thing, but just sometimes they just don't even fight hands, you know? And sometimes the hands are there to be fought as well. Like very obviously the hands are there to be fought. Not They haven't tucked it behind the, the head or anything. <coughs> Thirty twenty five is the worst scorecard in history. Not really, though. I kind of get it. But um, the first round is crazy to score it for Umar if he did get switched off, like he said. Free pa Okay, W Umar, yeah. True. Um, if Corey takes that fight and we lose him versus... I uh, know, yeah. 
Was Habib boring in your opinion? If not, why? I started watching just after GSP's era. Why was he boring? Um, I don't think Habib was that boring. I don't think Habib was that boring. Thank you for the eight months of membership. The Ally Quinter fight was pretty shit, to be honest with you. Holloway or Gaethje now that Holloway is filled for 155? I don't know. Holloway or Gaethje now that Holloway is... I feel like Holloway might win it. I'm, I'm leaning more and more towards Holloway as time goes on. Petrino sub or KO? Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. I, oh, Petrino, I'll go KO. But um, I, I know Pedro's a big dude. He might win it. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. Um, there's a reason Russia was banned from competing at the Olympics. Russian athletes are fed sophisticated PEDs from a very young age. People acting like that's no longer a thing since Dagestani's existed. It's so retarded to me. Thank you for the five uh, pounds, dude. There's literally an interview where Makashev says that they were being fed vitamins at a young age. And somehow this thing got into the vitamins that he tested positive for. I was just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, come on, man. We really just trusting Russia all of a sudden, but it's all good though. Such a good card. O'Malley Vera, Poirier Santhony, Holland MVP, Burns JDM, Yan Yadong. Hopefully they show the prelims here as well. The prelims are just as good. I think UFC 300 is better though, chat. Bro's low-key a closeted racist for going after Russians, those white people. That's crazy, dude. You're a fucking retard. End of discussion. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're right, dude. Russians would never cheat in a combat sport or athletic endeavor. My bad. I'm just being racist. <laughs> you're right, dude. Russians, they would never cheat. They would never cheat. You're right, dude. Jesus Christ. My bad. My bad, guys. I didn't I didn't even consider that shit. Yeah, Russians would never cheat in any type of uh, competition internationally. Nowhere. Hope we can have one of the humble grapplers KO'd, yeah. I literally didn't even say that in regards to Umar. Someone just said it in chat. Thank you for the $2. I hope we can have one of the humble grapplers KO'd, yeah. It's Makayev, though. We'll see. I think he'll win it. What's significant strike absorption rate? I was in the... He takes the least, I imagine that is. That's cool. Do, 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 do. I've accepted that all these athletes take PEDs. I don't think they do. I don't think all of them do. I think there's a good percentage of them that don't. I want to try and do it naturally. Dustin TKO's Benoit Saint Denis. Totally not biased because he's my favorite. Yeah. I think Benoit is just the hips of Poirier are way too square. I can see him failing a guillotine, you know, going through a round of grappling pace and just not really liking it too much. Russia cheating? What, like Islam using an IV in Australia? No, don't be silly. What? Who two got Benoit Saint-Denis or Dustin? I've got Benoit Saint-Denis. Mixing in uh, double legs, uh, elbowing up against the cage rather than just swinging hooks over and over. Going to the... One thing I like about Benoit Saint-Denis is body kicks and... Um, Poirier doesn't take body kicks well. He's so wide at the torso. There's such a big target for body kicks to hit. And uh, I think also seeing as Poirier's coming off of a head kick KO loss, I think he's going to be more willing to leave the body kick open um, to defend his head from kicks. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's going to be a part of it as well. But while saying Denis just sort of smoking with body kicks and then a double leg now and again and some hooks, some elbows, both guys get scrappy in eyes. Perez didn't pull out, dude. <laughs> a second before the fight. Shut up. UFC 303. International Fight Week. I've never heard of anybody winning a competition. I feel like the UFC always puts on competitions for things. I've never, ever heard of a winner. 
Javier Mendez in DC and AKA are traitors to the US, bringing in Russian fighters and teaching them how to strike good enough. True. Very true. No loyalty to their country at all. Do you think Mikhaev can be champion? No. No, I don't. I think a level above Perez would better him. But maybe not. We'll see. Maybe he improves enough, just barely. Imagine Urseg storming the cage and starts cursing out Mikhaev. Yeah. In his weird little voice. No. I would love to have seen that Durden fight if he didn't guillotine him, you know. Anyone else? Gaziev is not actually from Bahrain. The kid just gave him a passport to represent Bahrain. Same thing with Hamza. Okay. I put five door on Mikhaev by sub and still hope he loses. All right. Garbrandt's last fight was made by a fan. Yeah. Yeah. Would be funny if Mikhaev was KO'd after barking at you. Okay. Thank you for the 27 Swedish kroner. That'd be a good curse to begin. A five-year-old Dagestan, he's what it takes to mess you up. I don't know. I'd probably just chuck a goat in one direction and sprint the other way and escape. Thank you for the $10, J-Ro Ruiz. I got Max piecing Gaethje up, then making Gaethje go wild like the old days. Justin will wobble Max, but Max bounces back and just lands too many shots on him. I think so as well. I got Max winning as well. I think Max will be in the pocket enough to where Gaethje will be almost forced to be a bit nutty rather than uh, so coherent. And I've watched back their fights recently, chat. I know it's because Holloway's at featherweight. He's so much faster than Gaethje, you know. He's so much faster than Gaethje and he's way faster than Poirier. He was very slow before. When he fought Ortega, he was very slow. When he fought um, Edgar, he was very slow. When he fought Poirier moving up, he was very slow, but his speed has increased quite a bit, especially with his footwork. Impression of Hadley treating McIve like breakfast. I'm just going to fucking lose and stop shooting takedowns after a fucking round. I hope Mikhaev wins just so he can call you out. He won't call me out. It is what it is, though. Craig Jones or Lovato tonight? I don't know. Craig Jones, obviously. Guru, the MMA top G sent from ex-convict Rufa from Ontario, Canada. Guru, thank you for the 20, mom uh, 20 months of membership, Lucas Witt. Thank you. It was all a dream. It was all a dream. I had a dream that I showed up to a fight. And before I knew it, my body went night, night. Getting beaten not like I thought I would. Same back take, same choke, it's all good. I'm gonna kill myself. I can't win a fight. My name's Alex Perez. Um, why the hell did I just get an ad? Because it's a walkout. Walkout time. You will actually have a pretty early night. It seems that way. It does indeed seem that way tonight. Post-champ Max being in his prime is kind of wild. I, I think it's so true, though, if you watch back the uh, fights that he had when he was champ. He's so awful. Like, yes or no, chap? The early, like... The current version of Holloway, if he were to go back and fight that same version of Aldo, he ain't losing the first round or the second round, I don't think. Like, he was getting stung up by Aldo bad in the first. I don't think he would do if he went back and fought him again. He might lose the round, but he wouldn't get wobbled all over the place like he did in the first fight. Like, he would be moving way better. He would have rolled with the shot a bit better. But back then, he was very slow, and he really fucking uh, thingy. Really relied on his chin. Really relied on it. Thoughts on Google AI images of British kings? I don't know. It's sad, isn't it? Thank you for the $2. Thank you for the $1, Nick Mahat. I feel like Max hit a new level after the second Delta Volk. Yeah. 
even after the first Delta Vault, main event pick, uh, Rosenstrike, actually, weirdly enough. <sighs> right, I got Makayev here. Let's see if he pulls it off. <sighs> Brooklyn Ren, huh? Titties. How bad do you want Makayev to lose? Not really. I actually kind of want him to win. I need him in the uh, top of the division, you know? Would be more fun. How's the weight going? I'm just gaining weight. Stuff in my face, not working out. I'll get back to it, though. Goats, you don't even wash your bum after a two. What? Perez hasn't been in the cage for a while, so Makayev might be able to have a good early start if he wants it. I poke. Okay, never mind. Keith Peterson really annoyed by that eye poke, and he was really shaking his head about that one. Did not give Perez a timeout. Uppercut from Mikhaev. Inside low kick. Perez not throwing anything. Good low kick there from Perez. And remember, Perez does have good low kicks. Slips on his ass. Jesus Christ. Mikhaev don't dive for position now. He probably wants respect. Oh, Mikhaev's stand-up is atrocious. Do not throw punches like that again. Front kick to the body, though. There you go. Low kick from Perez. Low kick from Makayev on the calf. Low kick back from Perez on the calf. Perez not throwing punches yet. There's a couple. Body shots. Gets knee to the body. He might have got hurt to the body there. No, he's good. He's good. Single leg from Makayev. Perez has got a front choke nearly. No, 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 no. Makayev's good. They separate. Feel like Makayev did hurt him to the body with a near. Maybe. Dude, Bisping just waffles at anything, dude. Not these shots are not landing. And he'll just say that it does. Perez got to get back to his low kicks. Oh, good right hand from Perez. Body shot from Perez as well. Now low kick. Misses it. Never mind. Good job by Makayev to read that. Knee to the groin from Makayev. Shoots his takedown, doesn't get it. Perez stuffs it. Very good takedown defense from Perez. Lands a little uppercut. <clears throat> oh, Makayev, dude. The way he walks in with those shots. Chin way up in the air. Another takedown failed for Makayev. No punishment, though, because the, the, the knee is not being allowed. <laughs> Kaev needs to get his kicks going again. They were working for him earlier in the round. Needs to chop low himself with kicks. I don't think he can worry about Perez's power. There's a jab from Makayev. Perez, awful, awful stand up there. Jesus, atrocious. Jab from Makayev. Kicks the arms of Perez. Moves out of the way. The low kick of Perez. Misses a jab. Good shot to the body from Perez. Misses upstairs, though. Low kicks are just a bit too slow from him so far. Might have caught Makayev there, but I don't know if he did. Uh, Makayev shooting in again on a single. Perez defends it well. Look to get a knee to the body here, Perez. He should look to get a knee to the body. Good sprawl from Perez, but Makayev's going to drive all the way through. Very good job. Short time left in the round. Oh, 
this is good for Makayev mentally, you know, to know that he can uh, push through a bit of resistance in Perez's takedown defense. Good defense by Perez. Makayev looking for the back take. One hook in. Perez just needs to give away this round. Don't bother getting back up here. Round one, Makayev, based on this. This isn't a fight finishable position, though. Perez is fine. They should let this go till the end of the bell. And it's going to go to the end. Round two coming up. Makayev throws punches like me at my dreams. True. Yeah. Dagestan fighters would be trash if UFC had one FC knee rules. I mean, right there in round one was a perfect example of where he would have been punished for it, but they would shoot takedowns differently if they if they knew that they could be kneed in the face, you know? So we'll have to see what adjustment they would make before we can say that. Perez got one win against Formiga and has been ranked top 10 for 20 years because of it. True. That being said, I want Makayev to get slumped out cold. He won't be. I like Makayev, dude. I don't know why. I know he trashed me, but I'm deserving of being trashed sometimes. 10-9 Mikhaev. <sighs> Round two. <sighs> Perez's cheeks. Yeah, he's awful. Oh. Kaboom! Round two. Low kicks ahoy, question mark. There's one from Mikhaev. Perez backs him up. Will Perez low kick, though? Can't hesitate on it, man. He's got to throw it. Good right hand from Perez, but Mikhaev shoots for the back and gets the back. Perez is stood up, though. This is where he's been subbed before. Do you think the UFC should allow headbutts? No. Good job by Perez to stop the back take. But Mikhaev's got his leg tangled up here. No, I don't think they should allow headbutts, no. Mikhaev just sort of holding him up against the cage. Good takedown defense by Perez. Great scramble. Knee to the groin from Mikhaev. Gets pushed over like a little soy bitch. <laughs> Good low kick as well by Perez. Sorry. No, who cares who wins though? Uh, good takedown defense by Perez there. Stuffs it. But Mikhaev will keep shooting takedowns. Like you've got to do better than just stuff it. You have to punish him. You know? Good shot from Mikhaev there. Perez, man. What is this stand-up? Come on, bro. Front kick from Perez. Jab. Oh, he landed the left hook. He landed the left hook and Mikhaev dived in for that low low uh, takedown. Perez hooks the leg here, but Mikhaev's got his legs. Perez looking to cradle off the cage. He's not going to hook his fingers, though. Good takedown defense, but Mikhaev's got a double leg still. Elbows from Perez there. Mikhaev grabs the back. This is a Perez round on damage so far. Mikhaev needs to get damage off with this grappling. Mikhaev's kind of ass. He is, but every fight he's been ass. But he's young, you know? Very young is what you have to consider. 22 years old, by the way. I know, dude. Insane. But chat, don't you agree, chat? Certain times when you start as like a two-year-old in MMA training and you're now 22 or some shit, you can kind of only get so good, right? Like sometimes it doesn't matter if you're younger, if you started way earlier, like it's the same, like you, you can only really get to a certain level genetically in a way, you know what I mean? This is a Perez round. I know, dude, he's winning on damage so far. Stuffs the single leg, attacks the neck of Mikhaev here, actually has a, a bit of a neck attack. It's not in there. He's just using it to cause discomfort. If you could knee him in the face, what would happen right now? Mikhaev would be out cold. If Perez was allowed to knee him in the face, Mikhaev would be out cold. 
flatlined out cold right now, knee after knee after knee after knee. So annoying to watch these guys get a fucking exempt from damage for that shit. Perez needs to stop trying to go back into the grappling. Another good elbow to the side of the head from Perez. More elbows to the side of the head. Good elbows from Perez there. Those were good elbows. And another one as well. Right to the side of Makayev's head. Missed that one, but stuffed the takedown. Very good. Separates. Knee to the body. Knee back from Makayev. And they separate. Perez is round so far. Makayev's punches. Weak. Weak punches. Perez, this is where he can low kick. He's already up this round. Here's where he can low kick. Knee to the body from Makayev. Ugh, they both look awful. Uppercut hits Perez's guard. Teep from Makayev. Perez needs to get some busyness here. Nothing really landed clean. Perez has him up against a cage here. Perez should like just punch the body here, I think. Neither thigh, maybe. Good punch from Perez. Some little punches here. Attacking the neck of Mikhaev. What would happen if knees were legal here? What would happen if knees were legal here? I swear this is a safe haven for Mikhaev every single round. Is it not, chat? What would happen if knees were legal here? Bang, 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 bang. He's out cold again. Straight here. Bang, bang. Knee him in the face. Why not? Good in, good on him for making Makayev carry his weight. Two, uh, one, one. One clear round each. <clears throat> Third round Makayev chat. Does it exist as a meme? Let's find out. Was literally just ranting about this before the fight. Knew he would do the same as he did to Elliot. Round three though. Round three Makayev coming up. 1-1 one, one on live odds. People are saying. I think 1-1 one, one pretty clear. Dude, it's so good to know that it won't be 7 a.m. when this fight card ends. You have no, good, no idea how good that feels. I'll actually be able to have a night. Good two from Makayev there. That one hit Perez's guard. Jazzini and Anthony Smith have 14 main events combined. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Left hand, but Makayev landed a knee before, but Perez did land his left hand again. And here we are again, the same position. Imagine if knees were legal in this position. Just put down a KFC, mate. It's not that hard. I like food, though. Makayev reverses position. Looks for the hook on the back that he doesn't have yet. Perez just needs to be punching in these positions, right, chat? He gets his legs free of the back take here. Stays low. Single leg from Makayev, but Perez right back up. Good elbows from Perez. That's him winning that position. Pick up from Makayev and slam. 
Perez right back up, though. Mikhaev, Mikhaev just holding on here. No damage done yet. Good slam, though. Perez looking to separate here. If he can tuck his elbow, he might be able to. And he does. Good job by Perez. Let's see what he's got. He needs something big here. That will hit the guard from Mikhaev. Eye poke from Mikhaev again. Dude, that's two eye pokes now from Mikhaev that the ref did not call. He went like that after the knee and eye poked Perez again. Perez stuffs the takedown. Here again, illegal knees would be destroying Mikhaev's life. Illegal, like, legal grounded knees would absolutely obliterate Mikhaev's entire game. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Perez got to put something together, though. Kick to the arms from Mikhaev. Jab glances Perez. Ducks under again. Just can do it because there's no knees. Uh, Perez gets the underhook. Stuffs the takedown easy. Mikhaev looks to hit a switch, though, but his arms tied up behind him. And right here, knees to the face would absolutely obliterate Mikhaev's entire game. Perez needs to do damage, but he can't because he can't knee him in the face here. So Mikhaev has sort of found a way to where if he isn't succeeding at grappling, he can't be punished. Some punches from Perez. Mikhaev shoots under the single. Perez still stuffing the takedown here. Still stuffing the takedowns. Needs to do damage here, though. Stay on Mikhaev. He's got to stay on Mikhaev here. And throw. He needs to throw something here. Mikhaev shoots in again and fails it and just can't be kneed in the face. So he's just going to stall it here. Yeah, fuck Mikhaev, dude. Some punches from Perez. Some punches to the body. If Perez just gets off damage, you know, he can win this fight. He needs to get off some shots, though. Mikhaev's not landing and he's gassed out. Perez needs to throw shots, though. He needs to throw some shots. Uppercut from Perez as Mikhaev goes down. He needs to separate and throw. What does he think he's doing here? He needs to make sure he gets some damage off. Knee the face. There you go. He needs the face. Mikhaev plays the game, goes down to both knees. Perez separate and just swing some bombs here and you can probably win this fight. You're not doing that though. What are you thinking you're doing in your head? He's punching the body, punching the body. Maybe knee the face again. Knee it. No. He's just stalling the position. He's literally just stalling the position the whole fight long. And he hits the switch. I hope Perez gets it, but it's going to probably be Mikhaev's round. We'll see. Should be Perez, arguably, man. Mikhaev is such a bitch. Jesus Christ, Mikhaev's awful. Should go to Mikhaev, but I hope it goes to Perez. I really hope it should go to Mika uh, Perez. Jesus Christ. Which I had a, Sav a Savaloy. Okay. Right, let's see who gets this decision. What did Mikhaev do in the third? I, I think he landed better shots in the third. But Perez had his fucking neck latched up half the fight. And uh, what the fuck? Mikhaev got a suplex in round three, and he landed some shots in round three. I think it should go Mikhaev's way. I'm not going to say robbery if it goes to Perez, but man, Mikhaev's fucking awful. He legit just drops to his knees like my hose. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for the $2. 
Let's see who gets this decision. And Perez didn't look good on the feet himself, you know. Mohamed Makayev wins. Wow, dude. Wow. Yeah, Pantoja, fucking fight him, dude. You sleep him. Makayev literally gets guillotined by Pantoja. Uh, very sick. Every fight, same thing. Very sick, yeah. I'm so tired of these cliff dwellers. I'm genuinely mad. I know, dude. Ruin the sport. You shouldn't be able to fight like a clown. I know. No, he's not generally able to dominate in the wrestling DC. What world are you living in? He flukes a third round win every fight and looks shit before it. No, he doesn't. You don't get points for that. You did not earn a title shot for that shit. Perez was defending all day but wasn't thrown. If he just did little punches there, he would have won. Based. Based. Yes. And stop it in the UK as well. Yes, Alhamdulillah, free Palestine, free London too. Yes. Based, Mikhaev, dude. Free London, free Paris, free Warsaw, free Oslo, free Stockholm, free uh, Palestine as well. Yes, based Mikhaev, dude, standing against a forced movement of a type of people into a place until they outnumber the people that ethnically lived there at first. Based, dude, so based. Um, Thank you for the $2. His excuses, I was very sick this morning. Yeah, he already watched his own fight and wanted to throw up. Harass him on Twitter, awful performance, yeah. If Makayev ever wins a belt, I'm done with UFC, yeah. Fuck, dude. Thank you for the 20 uh, Swedish krona. Rule set for Guru FC, all right. People praise Makayev, but shit on Aljo. They have the same style. Aljo does more. Am I wrong? Aljo does more. Aljo does so much more. Does he not? Aljo does so much more on the feet than Makayev. And even with his positional grappling, he does more. Makayev does fuck all. What's worse, Roy Val punching at air or Makayev's takedown attempts? That was so pathetic, I know. You know what was more pathetic though, chat? Thank you for the membership, Gary. You know what was more pathetic, chat? Fucking Perez not throwing punches. Free Europe, okay. Jesus, let's calm down. <sighs> Thoughts on Simon versus Tabot? I'm going to go Simon, but Tabot's very good and he could end up winning. 
I actually asked Simon to come on the channel before that fight, but he hasn't replied to me in two weeks. Or a week, sorry. So would Aljo be Umar? I think so. <laughs> I guess so. There's no way Makayev's nickname is the Punisher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thoughts on Simon versus Tabit? I don't know. <laughs> I just read it and gave an answer, I'm pretty sure. Right, co -main. Is it co -main time? Perez should have looked for a back take. He should have, yeah. He should have. But he didn't want to engage in the grappling, you know what I mean? Because that's where Makayev can stall him out. You watching Gake Paul tonight? I don't know why, but I have to. I'm not watching it. I'll find out what happens, though. Six shekels for Bamba, Beasley, Bezik, Ziman. If you know, you know, yeah. You know what annoys me more, chat? Makayev actually has a fan base for that style of fighting. You know how crazy that is, chat? I think that's the difference, right? When you actually have a nation of people that are known as warriors... They have expectations for their fighters. So even Arnold Allen, who's way more fun, the UK fan base is like, yeah, but who cares about him? You know what I mean? He ain't laying out Sergei Pavlovich, so we ain't going to rely on him. Perez should look for a back take, yeah. Toxic fan bases. It's not toxic fan bases, man. Makaya versus Nicolau and Cap versus Kaikara France. Yeah. Mohammed the stuffed takedowns, Makaya. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, chat. Like, how do someone in any country look at Makaya's fight and go, yeah, let's rally behind him. You know what I mean? DDP and Simon used to use you like a little slam pig and then ghosted you. <laughs> you know what it is? I, I talked about this yesterday. I'll bet you fucking anything. Pedro, you're not a badass, dude. Fucking shut up. Um, I'll say you this about anything, chat. Joshua Van's the true flyweight prospect. True. Um, it was Jake Hadley this whole time, chat. Either way, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh my God, they, <laughs> you know what happened? Drickus V. Plessy and Cameron Slyman only saw the content I made about them and about the South Africa situation and the Adesanya Du Plessy stuff and thought, this guy's great. Let's bring him over. And then once I'd come over, they were probably like, all right, let's actually see the rest of his content. And then they went, fucking hell, <laughs> this guy's a fucking bigot. This guy's a fucking troll. An absolute troll. Like, why the fuck did we invite this guy out? <laughs> what the fuck were we thinking, dude? They probably saw me screaming about UFC 300 female fights. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this guy? Thank you very much for the $5. When you interview Jamal Hill, ask him if he likes chicken and watermelon. I don't think I'll do that. I had $5 on Perez by decision. I feel robbed. It is what it is. Why does Rabbi run Cornhub? I don't know. Goy boy. Thank you for the two dollars. It's not like they run other stuff. They gotta run something. You know what I mean? I think most white South Africans are pretty based. Yeah, but like in terms of the slander towards fighters, you know, I'm sure they're not a big fan of it. <laughs> Like, let me show you, chat. Uh, Cameron Simon. 
<laughs> Let's have a look. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Dude, did Drickers try to lips you? No, Drickers did not try and lips me. What the fuck? What's your longest no fap streak? Are you edging right now? Probably about two weeks. Thank you for the two dollars. So Cameron Simon, this is a week and a when how long ago is this? This is a week, nearly a week and a half ago. Yeah. My DMs with Cameron Simon. He messaged me saying, Great episode with Mighty Mouse. Man, that was sick. He messaged me. And then I said, Thanks, man, but I'm running out of jokes. So I need to take some time before the next podcast I go on. Would love to have you on the channel closer to your fight week. He saw it a week and a half ago. <laughs> he hasn't responded. <laughs> Just hasn't responded at all. Uh, classic, dude. Classic, classic, classic. <laughs> he literally read it like a minute after I sent it as well. Damn, dude. That weed burns up good, Raw OG. I'm seeing your uh, message you sent me on IG. I'm going to get the donos. Hold on. I'm going to get the donos. Oh, shit. I can hear myself in the background. Is that what it is? What the fuck? Is that what I do on stream? Is that what you guys listen to? I just heard myself back on an Instagram post in the background. You guys listen to that shit as you watch the fights? What the fuck, dude? I'm lucky as fuck. No way I should be making this money. What the fuck? Literally so autistic. <laughs> All right, let me... Uh, when you interview... Uh, I had five... Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Mackenzie Butterface Dern looks like the villager from Minecraft. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Joshua Van is the true flyweight prospect. I read all of these. I've read all of these donations. Oh, not going to lie. I want to see Urseg versus Pantoja at 301. I'd rather see that. I'd much rather see that. And I know this. Urseg beats Mikhaev. You watching? Gake? Yeah, I've got all the donors. We're good. Yeah, I won't watch Jake Paul, but I'll find out what happened. I weirdly care about Jake Paul's career. Anyone else? Well, I know it's always plugged because I'm just ripping cocaine, fucking bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you for the two pounds. Are you really far right or is it a bit? No, no, I'm not far right. That's fucking left wing in my world. <laughs> Thank you for the two pounds. I don't know. It's always fun to leave it up to assumption that it might be a bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always funny to just leave it up to assumption. <laughs> no, but on a real right wing in the UK is basically far left in the US, which is weird, dude. It's so weird. The US is like the only based country left. Because you guys actually have rights to fight for. You're better than hearing UFC commentators deep dicks out during the fight. It's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Ah, the farts today are tremendous. Warm as well. Dude, chat. Am I wrong? If Makayev gets a fucking title shot for that, the UFC has a fucking agenda for these bastards. And I'm making a whole fucking video about it. Impression of Leon Edwards' his dad. Look at me now. Thank you for the two pounds. <laughs> yes. Dude, they must have an agenda. There's no way anyone else performs like that against a top seven. There's no way they're getting a title shot. You know? They'll have to go Amir Albazi. Half kicks again. Thank you for the two dollars. Right, Mikhaev, uh, Petrino versus Pedro. This is a tricky one because Pedro's big and powerful. So we'll see how Pe Petrino deals with that. If you can. Pedro also has really good low kick. And Petrino is not going to be able to out grapple him. So actually, I should have picked Pedro, but we'll see. I went with Petrino just off of knockout of power. Um, what happened with Umar fight? Did he underperform? No, he dominated, but uh, he got dropped in the first round. 
So he didn't dominate, but 30-25 makes it seem like he did. He dominated the second and third round. Uh, the guy started to slow down, but he couldn't finish him. Good jab from Petrino. And uh, he got dropped in the first round. You would look cute in a granddad hat and dungarees. All right, thank you. Your name, Arabic. Oh, uh, thank you for the $2. Look at me now. Petrino eats roids. He does. What the fuck is on Pedro's back left shoulder blade? A tattoo? Both guys looking pretty hesitant. Good low kick from Petrino. Thank you for the $10. Yeah, I don't know what's on his back left shoulder blade. It looks like a fucking... I don't know. It looks like... I don't, I, I don't see it. Body shot from Petrino. I don't see anything on his back left. Oh, Pedro's. I, I have a look for it. I kind of scared about care about Jake's career because I watched it from the beginning. So it's kind of like watching a story playing out. True. Yeah, yeah. Most careers you don't catch from the beginning, you know? Low kick from Tyson Pedro. Impression of Ariel trying to seduce Luke Thomas. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the $2. Jab from Petrino, maybe. I'm not sure, though. Maybe missed. I don't see what's on his left shoulder blade, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a tattoo. Body shot from Petrino. Front kick to the body from Pedro. Is Pedro the one whose dad stabbed him in the chest? I think so, yeah. His dad, like, beat the shit out of him, right? I don't know about stabbed him in the chest. No, that's Blagoy Ivanov or some shit, right? Blagoy Ivanov got stabbed in the chest. Not by his dad, by a fucking terrorist or some shit. But yeah, Tyson Pedro, maybe his dad did. Tyson Pedro's dad is like, from what I've heard, Pedro, you said he was like, beat the shit out of him when he was a kid. Not beat the shit out of him like as a, in the house, but like used to take him to the gym and jump in the ring with him and beat the shit out of him. Looks like stuff. All right, maybe I'm not seeing it um, because of the tattoos, but you guys might see something I don't. Thank you for the $5. <laughs> If it is staff infection, Pedro's just a stinky bitch. Like, he had a fucking pink eye in his last fight. And now he's got staff. Good body kick from Pedro. Barely whiffed the head kick there, did Petrino. But I'd say Pedro's minorly ahead so far. It's one of those Samoan Aussie guys, yeah. I don't know which one. Thank you for the $2. Just how good is Modestus Bukowskis? Low kick from Pedro. Pedro stabbed his dad with the sword he cut down to Carl Drew. Okay. Wish Sanko was good jab from Petrino, dude. Nice jab. Wish Sanko was here to edge, plus watch the UFC at the same time. Just imagine that, dude. A fucking great woman by your side to edge you as you watch UFC fights. Kind of gay, to be honest with you, because you're basically just forcing yourself to get a boner over the UFC. But actually, yeah, don't imagine that. Don't ever want that to happen either, because then you might reprogram yourself to something weird. You never want to do that, actually. Oh, yeah, it's actually fucking weird that you would say that, Resaf. Actually, I take it all back. You're a disgusting creep. Good jab from Petrino again. Dude, Pedro's not liking that jab. His nose is starting to swell up a bit. But he's uh, doing good with his low kicks. If he gets a few more off, it could uh, help him out as the fight goes on. I'm just saying this would be a good Petrino KO spotlight because they need summon for UFC 301. And him in a co-main event is actually really handy for them. But he is so open to those low kicks, though. I think he wants Pedro to throw him so he can throw his lead left hook. I literally just said that. And he did it as I was saying it. He was baiting him with those low kicks, but Pedro got the low kick off. So I don't know. Pedro's doing a bit better than I thought he was going to be. Close though. You make everything weird. It's more fun that way on stream. Not gay. I love Sanko and Edge to her. That's what's the issue. But you said while you watched the UFC, you wish you was here so you could edge. That's all. You're a closeted homosexual. I'm a deeply closeted gay man. You're what? I'm not gay. I'm deeply closeted. Boring flinch check round one. <laughs> yeah, true. Flinch checking. True, true, true. 
Where's James Krause up? Don't do James Krause. Yes or no chat. Let's just consider him dead at this point, right? We might as well just consider him dead at this point because <laughs> that's, that's, that's as far as I'm concerned. You know, he's been killed somewhere. And he's taken, I bet you chat, I bet you this, he's taken the fall and they're going to use him as an example because I bet you there's so many more people that were gambling on the fights. I'm talking like backstage UFC employees, maybe Dana chucking a couple K on a fight. I bet you, dude, they're going to be like, dude, this James Krause guy, what a fucking evil mastermind he was. Yeah, Pedro's nose looks broken. I would walk 10,000 miles through shattered glass and have a jab from Petrino. Good low kick from Petrino as well. He's starting to amp up the pace a bit here with his uh, movement. I'd walk 10,000 miles through shattered glass just to hear Laura Sanko queef through a walkie-talkie. All right. Good low kick from Petrino. I think Petrino, uh, from Pedro, sorry. I think Petrino tagged him with a left hook though. <laughs> good jab from Petrino and a good uppercut. <laughs> Stuff's the takedown. Good knee to the body from Pedro though in there. That was really good knee to the body that he landed. <laughs> yes, a more active Costa would be better for sure. A more active Costa might have beat Whitaker. Like, it was a good fight. I think the most retarded fan base at the moment, though, are Paulo Costa lost deniers. Kraus smashed Sanko. And um, who else did he smash, chat? Impression of MMA guru edging to Chris Cyborg. Yeah, whatever. Um, are Ilya and Marab an antidote to these Dagestanis? Maybe the Georgians can hold the fort. The last bastion of hope between Europe and, and uh, Dagestan. Georgia holds the front line. I think it's time we delete... All right. Petrino just sort of in on this failed takedown on Pedro right now. Pedro's got a nasty Kimura, though. Megan Anderson, exactly, yeah. Dude, Kraus is a G. I don't care what anyone says. Criminal, coach, badass fighter as well. Underrated fighter in terms of his record. Fucking Sanko and, Meg and uh, Megan Anderson at his gym. Come on, dude. He is a G. I don't know why people are so angry at him. Failed takedown for Petrina. Megan Anderson, that's who Kraus hit too. Yeah, exactly. Insane. Insane. Now, Pedro has a really good Polish throw. No. Oh, he tried to wrench the arm of Petrino there. That was smart because that's his lead hand as well. What a nice Polish. Still a lot of time left in this round. Two minutes 30. I feel like they both had a bit of an agreement to get a breather back there. Good two-ish from Pedro. Glanced. Nothing too clean. That might have glanced from Petrino. Thoughts on to good body kick from Pedro. Thoughts on Tapiri being 5'6 and having a 10 out of 10 girlfriend. It's not about height, though, but he's a very extreme. You know? You know what, chat? Some girls like men, they're high or slightly taller. You don't have to be that much taller than a woman. Especially in like other parts of the world that aren't LA. You know what I mean? But most women don't care about that shit. I'm never betting on the fight nights ever again, yeah. Failed takedown from Pedro. Dude, Petrino's takedown defense. That was impressive. Never betting on fight nights ever again. Yeah, it's a tough one. Pedro looks like he's running out of options. You guys see that look on Pedro's face? Like worry? Anyone else? Like his face, facial expression at the start of the fight was laser focused. And now it's like, oh God, oh God, oh God. But he's still doing good. He's still doing good. Body shot from Petrino, but a low kick from Pedro as I was waffling about the way he looks. Yeah, he's winning the round. Could be. Close round though. Inside low kick from Pedro, shin to shim. Petrino kicks the arm. Damn, dude, these fights are shit. <laughs> Am I right? Jesus, Dagestani's really put a curse on the card. It was fun before they fucking showed up. Low kick from Pedro. Yeah, I'd say Pedro's round, close. 
Right hand glance for Petrino. Nothing too clean, though. Front kick to the body. I'm saying Pedro's round. Is one one. Moves out of the way of the head kick. Body kick from Petrino. I mean, he's thrown a lot here at the end, so it's still like a robberyable round. He's probably going to throw a wheel kick here in a second. Like a true Brazilian would do. Jab. That was a good jab. All right. That's a Pedro round. 1-1. One, one. If my son was gay, I'd... All right. Thank you for the two dollars. I'd say 1-1. One, one. I don't think it's 2 0 Petrino chat. I think Pedro got that round. I don't think Petrino won that round. Pedro landed way cleaner. Why are you not throwing a fit about how boring this is? I am. We just have other stuff to discuss. But I literally just said, this is so fucking boring. Like, what the fuck is going on in this card? This is awful. Like, I literally said that probably as you were typing. I don't think that's a Petrino round. I think that's 1-1, one, one, chat. I think that's 1-1. One, one. Chat, do I make a whole video about how Mikhaev's career wouldn't exist if grounded knees were legal? How did Basharat lose to Ariel? He literally just looked shit. He had no offense. Uh, Amian was tagging him on the chin. He was overswinging his shots, looking sloppy. He just looked awful in the fight. He looked good early, but he just looked like he lost his uh, pep in his step. You know what I mean? Close fight, though. Close fight. Damn, Petrino minus 620. They're pretty confident in him. Body kick from Petrino. I thought Pedro won the second. Am I dumb? Stiff jab from Petrino. Damn. He's starting fast in the third. Could backfire. Good low kick from Pedro. Right hand from Petrino again. Misses that follow-up, though. Petrino really going for it here in the third. Good body shot, but Pedro lands a kick. Good low kick from Petrino. Really putting it on here in the third. Stiff jab. Pedro felt that jab. How's the card been before this? It was good before the Dagestanis showed up. But since Mikhaev and Umar showed up, it's been pretty shit. But before that, pretty much all the fights were good. All right, Petrino's got him up against the cage over unders. Fucking hell. What a shit fight. Petrino with the takedown to the back control. Big. He shouldn't look for submission position here, though. He should just look to hold. As as annoying as it is to watch. Um, Pedro is breedable. What the fuck is going on in chat? Big fucking slam from Petrino. Dude, sourced up, dude. Fuck this guy. Who's with me? This dude ain't natural. Third round. All that twitching of fast twitch muscle. Just fucking yoinking him up like that. Fuck off. Dude, sweat hemorrhoids. Oh, Pedro getting taken down again. <sighs> Looks for the uh, Kimura by the looks of things. Bisping and DC have been trashing the fight the whole time. Well, I fucking hope they trashed Makayev and Umar's fight then. I fucking hope they did.
I don't know about the first two rounds either, you know. I could see people calling this a robbery. It was a very close fight. We are in 2024. Why are we still in the Apex? I know, dude. But I, I said earlier in the in the stream, this is the kind of card where I don't mind the Apex. Anyone else? Like these types of cards that are this week, I'm like, yeah, put it in the fucking Apex. Can you imagine Umar and Mikhaev and Petrino back to back to back in front of a crowd? The crowd will fucking walk out anyway. So you might as well have it in the Apex because there's only going to be 2,000 people left in an arena anyway by the time these three are done. Question for chat. Who's the juiced up man, woman thing sat next to the cage? It's there every fight and it creeps me out. What? Thank you for the five pounds. I don't know what you're talking about there. Wow, DC and them are really just trashing the fight on commentary. Uh, how boring it is. Petrino is an arm triangle. Fucking A, what a shit fight. Good for Petrino, though. I guess he won, but uh, what a shit fight. Yeah, the Makaya fight was literally worse, but still awful. W commentary, but bias, dude. They weren't calling out Makayev. Pedro wouldn't engage at all. Yeah, true. That's true. But you know what it is about fighters, though? They'll never improve. Because they can never admit that they're worse than someone. You know what Pedro's going to say? I just didn't feel like myself out there. I bet you that's what he's going to say, chat. And who's, who wants to bet? Odds 1 through 10. Or odds out of 100% there. What were you thinking? 50% chance. I think solid 50% chance. I was I just didn't feel like myself tonight. You know what I mean? The Mexico card would have been more enjoyable in the Apex. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Pickett just retired. Oh, no. The Aussie excuse. Oh, I've seen that video on Twitter about Volk. Fucking haters, dude. Bad fight, but isn't it crazy that Petrino has cardio? It, uh, to be fair, it wasn't a crazy pace. So that's like bare minimum expectation cardio. He did seem like he was slowing down a bit against Turkali when he fought him. But um, yeah, Mr. Petrino win. That's what it was. It was the power difference in the fight. Pedro's just not willing to get KO'd if he, if he needs to, you know, whereas Petrino kind of was. DC shitting on that fight when his boy Umar hit a crotch sniff masterclass after getting dropped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, awful fight. Anyway, back to absolute schmucks for fucking Tyson Pedro. Literally most can fed fighter in the UFC.
Bald guy's ex sass. I had it a draw. Okay. I'd love to know the credentials of that tall, bald dude who's always separating fighters at weigh ins. Dana Wyatt, you mean? He called out Anthony Smith. He'd fuck up Anthony Smith easily, probably. Thank you for the 100 Canadian dollars. Skinny Bets is in the chat. What's up, brother? Why are they giving him a post-fight interview? Is he retiring? Is he retiring? Retiring. Wait, you retired? Okay, okay. He said, I don't think it's goodbye, but just see you later. So you left it open to come back. Anyway, 100 Canadian dollars. Fucking hell. Thank you, skinny bets. For the 100 Canadian dollars. I assume this is the real one. Otherwise, you wouldn't be dropping fucking big cash in the chat. I saw you going for Jazzinho. Let's ride, my brother. Okay. I'm hoping Jazzinho wins. I just think I, I saw Gaziev on the uh, regional scene, and he's uh, he's shit. He's not shit like he wins, but he's get he gets dropped like he's been wobbled. So I think Rosenstreich could fucking piece him up. But Rosenstreich could just end up like a fucking fat turtle on his back again. So we'll see. I, I think Rosenstreich wins. Just got done playing a gig. What did I miss? The prelims were good, but the last three fights have been fucking dog shit, man. Absolute dog shit. Pedro retired. Uh, yeah, anyways. Sad, though. I, he's a cool personality, but just, yeah, the skill ain't there. I kind of rate that, though, right? If you're not going to be the best, what's the point in sticking around? Would you rather go behind enemy lines in Gaza with Ariel or eat Cyborg from the back after five rounds in a sweatsuit? Who's enemy lines in Gaza? You know what I'm saying? What, what kind of enemy lines are we talking? <laughs> wasted $150, uh, but Apex always ruining my bets, yeah. Yeah, but Cyborg's fucking 9 out of 10, dude. I'd glad Gladly. Smith is shitting on his papers right now, <laughs> yeah. On paper, it is a fucking load of shit. Thank you, Skinny Bets, though. You think over or under 1.5? I think he finishes him in the first. So I guess under 1.5, I think that's what that means in betting language. Thank you for the 100 Canadian. Rooting for Suriname's Derek Lewis. Yeah. True that. Oh, yeah. And Skinny Bets, I'm assuming you've, in a way, understood I'm not going with that betting thing. <laughs> Seeing as I just basically ignored, basically, the whole chat that we were in. I don't know. I just don't want to do any sponsors. I decided against it. But chat, my chat don't even know that shit. Thank you for the $2. Pedro co-owns Drink West with Ty. Maybe he has money. Maybe actually, yeah. But how much money is that making now? How much money is that making? Soy Canadian, what? Okay. Jesus. Shit retiring to steroid abusers. I, I, I just think it's unlikely that Petrino is natural. My honest opinion is just kind of unlikely. Maybe unlikely. Nothing, yeah. Based guru. No, it wasn't even that, uh, anything like that. I just, I don't know. 
I don't want to enter into the sponsor world yet. You're just waiting for bigger sponsorship money. Nah. Nah, it's all about morality. <laughs> it's all about morality, chat. What don't you understand, you idiots? It's about morals as to why I'm turning down sponsors. I'm not waiting for the fucking fat bag so I can fucking sail off. <laughs> Impression of Jubilee playing with fingers inside of McGregor's bum. What are you doing, man? Why are you saying that shit in my chat, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Dude, look at the promos they're doing, like as if he, this guy has some epic story. <laughs> He's 1-0 against Martin Bidet, and it's like, this is his moment. <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for in his career. Thank you for the $2. Would you sponsor Costa's Secret Juice? Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Secret Juice I would potentially sponsor, yeah. More fighters should do what Tyson just did, save the CTE if you know you're not good enough to win a belt. I mean, maybe he makes money elsewhere, you know what I mean? And also, Tyson Pedro's not young, you know? He looks young because he's hip and cool and, all. look at him. He has a fucking good hairline. What a fucking bitch. Um, but he's not young, you know? Like, he's... I think he's in his 30s. I think he's in his 30s. He's 32, yeah. I mean, I don't mind him retiring. He'll probably come back anyway in a bit. Thank you for the 50 Canadian. Buckaroos, F them morals, Lamau, but now nah, check telly after Brody. Nah, okay, we'll see. I saw you did a, uh, oh no, Full Violence did something with that lucrative MMA betting guy. I've heard all, I've heard from him quite a bit. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to splash the, the business stuff, you know what I'm saying? No, I'll check it after. Thank you for the 50k Canadian dollars. Start a KFC mukbang channel and collab with Nicardo Avocado. No, he fell off, dude. Fuck that guy. Thank you for the 50 Canadian dollars, though, Skinny Bets. Appreciate that, man. I'll check it now. Pedro's chin is probably why he's obese, yeah. Five hundred K on burns, dude. How fucking rich are you? Skinny bets, dude. I don't know, dude. You're fucking uh, this skinny bets guy. Something's up. How are you making that much money, bro? <laughs> That's too much. Um, uh, uh, read out. You just said 500 count burns. No, I don't want to do no sponsor stuff, though, skinny bets. I'm I'm chilling on the sponsor stuff. Soon I'll have my number. Soon I'll have what I desire. Mark Smith wouldn't stop yapping during Petrino fight for more action, but nothing was said during Mikhaev's fight. Pathetic. I'm telling you, they get a free pass, brother. And no, I'm not going with Gilbert Burns, by the way. I'm going JDM to jab his face off. Five hundred K, bro. Just give me a grand. The hill, what the hill? Holy! <laughs> oh shit! My bad. I shouldn't have read it out loud. I guess. Uh. I know. I thought because you said to check it after the fight, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna check it on stream now." <laughs> I'm not fucking messaging you through fucking Telegram anymore, mate. Enough. You talk in the chat like everyone else, Mister Fucking Millionaire. Don't sell out. No, I'm not. I'm not selling out. Jesus. Look at this fucking phenom. Chat. I'm in better shape than Gaziev. Give me that chat at least. I'm like Gaziev size, but like in better shape. Give me that at least, chat. Gaziev ain't got fucking tricep insertions like them, brother. Yeah, you know I mean, no way. Gaziev ain't built like this. Shamil's geeked here. Yeah. 
Guru leaking DMs. I think the chat's delayed. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. What an athletic specimen Gaziev is. What a top tier athlete. Dude, where's his capped delts? I don't even train and I got capped delts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this guy has no delt defini definition. He's a fucking grappler. Striker, training, boxing, everything, every day. No capped delts? Come on, bro. I ain't even worked out in months and I got capped delts. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. You don't have muscle? I do have muscle. I don't know if I have cap delts, but last time I checked, I did. I can't get him out of this fucking shirt, though. No, I can't even get him out of the shirt. I'm not even joking. I need a looser shirt to show him off. Thank you for the $5. Skinny wants to find more people to give half picks. They give one side to a group of... <laughs> Stop exposing his cult in this chat. He just donated again, actually. Let me... Genuine question. Why does everybody hate me here, Lamau? I literally have given over 700k to UFC fighters in the last two years. Why do you all hate me? I don't get it. All the fighters love me. I'm going to keep it real with you, Skinny Bets. You're black. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No, they just hate everyone that interacts with me. Trust me. They used to like Drickus Duplessis before I met him. They used to like him. Now they fucking hate him. They fucking despise him. This whole chat loved Drickus Duplessis and loved that I was collaborating with him. And then as soon as I met him, they can't say a nice thing about DDP or I'm glazing. It's not allowed to say nice things about DDP. It's just how they are. It's like I'm their little friend and they can't share me with anyone else. It's literally what it is. MMA Joey's in Shamil's is Shamil's Down's little brother, okay? When you up in production like you promised in the shed, this is the up to production. What? Skinny wants to find more people to give half picks. They give one side to a group of people and another. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> uh, I reckon you'd spank Gaziev over your knee. Thank you. Because you were glazing, little bro, yeah. Skinny, yeah, people now like you because you acknowledge that they don't like you. This is how my chat works, dude. Bunch of fucking tods. You started glazing DDP, you tod. That's why. No, I didn't. I said I thought he won against Strick. I didn't even say I think he won. I didn't even say I think he won. I literally said it's down to the criteria and it actually goes against each other. So I didn't even say I thought he won. And you guys still said I glazed. Moicano, Mighty Mouse... DDP, all garbage. No, they're not garbage just because I collaborated with them, man. Yeah, but Skinny Bets, it's not even you. It's just they just don't like anyone that interacts with me. It is what it is. <sighs> you know when you were, I don't know if you have a little brother, Skinny Bets, or anything like that, but you know when you would have a friend over when you were a kid and your little brother would start acting up? In front of them. That's kind of what chat is. In a way. Capped delts. Your shoulder blubber doesn't count. I do have capped delts. Just these shirts are too tight to even pop them out. You guys have seen my capped delts. Come on, bro. It's gifted 20 gifted memberships. Oh, shit, dude. It's working, chat. We're gaslighting him into uh, donating. Alfonso Urian, Snipey McSendit, Dewey Makashev, Jesus Christ, the Lord of Gaming, Luke Hackett, Arthur was gifted one. Thank you very much for the gifted memberships, Skinny Bets. 23DG, Euphorics, all of these guys. Tai Kai was gifted a membership as well. Damn, this main event's taken fucking ages to get going. Thank you for the 20 gifted, though, uh, Skinny Bets. Appreciate it. Ripped up Chimeyev's prime years. Yeah, dude, that don't that guy don't fight no more, bro. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Responsibility. Every time I look at my phone, it's just responsibility, man. I actually just want to chuck away my fucking phone. I, actually, I always have wanted to do that. Just chuck away my fucking phone. Every time I look at my phone, it's something I've got to fucking do for someone, man. Fuck off. You can't buy friends. 
What? All right, the chat has reached a point where it's just lagging the fuck out. So I'm going to miss this Brazilian Real donor. Start a show with skinny bets about picks and name it Skinny and Piggy. No. <laughs> the skinny pig? No. I'm not doing those shows even though. You guys know you'd hate that shit. You just scoot your fat over so it looks like a cap's del. No, I don't, dude. All right, finally, Rosenstroik Gaziev. Mark Goddard has a camel toe. All right. Why are you looking? Sus as fuck. Hey, yo. Hey, listen. Hey, I don't have a fucking camel toe. Hey. What's your language? Oi. Little bro, your mum just asked you to take the trash. No, it's not that. I don't even live with my parents, bro. Unlike yourself, bitch ass. Balletne. Gifted membership again. Let's go. This is a fatty battle we love. Right, round one. Don't embarrass me, Rosenstroik. You're my pick. Low kick, Rosenstroik. You're my pick. Oh, dear. Oh, he fucking headbutted the cage, Gaziev, there. You're my pick, Rosenstroik. Don't embarrass me. Gaziev misses his one, two. I'm worried Gaziev could chin him. That's what I'm worried about. Good right hand from Rosenstroik lands. Knocks his mouthpiece loose. Just, you know, looks like a black guru. I'm not bored. I'm in better shape than him. Thank you for the $10. Jab from Rosenstroik. Low kick from Rosenstroik. Sorry for the $5 that are gone. Split decision. The chat's too laggy. Low kick again, Rosenstrike. Do it. You need to get him off. You need to get him off, Rosenstrike. Stuff's to take down again of this fat fuck. Low kick again, Rosenstrike. He's not going to shoot again that quick. Oh, my eyes are shutting down. My eyes are shutting down. I can't open my fucking eyes. We're good. I can't open my right eye. I'm seeing it in like a stop motion of a fight. I can't even see what's going on. Jab from Rosenstreck, I think just landed. Stuff's the takedown again of that fat fuck. Fuck, my fucking eyes are fucked up. What's going on, my eyes? Click someone for a burger in the octagon. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Good two from Rosenstrike on the chin. Low kick Rosenstrike. You've got to invest while you're stuffing them. My fucking eye is fucked up. What is going on? All right, we're good. Fuck. Right hand from Gaziev. Dude, I can't fucking open my fucking eyes. It's not cardio. Shut the fuck up. I don't need cardio. Oh, we're good. Low kick Rosenstrike. For fuck's sake, man. You need more of them. Throw the fucking low kick, man. Lands a jab there. Low kick Rosenstrike. He has to low kick while he's stuffing takedowns. He has to get off low kicks. I cannot stress this enough. He's leaving himself just to get a chance to get KO'd. Piggy, can you beat any top 15? No, shut up. There's a fight on. Gaziev's going strong here. Can't get the takedown again, though. We're good. Knee to the thigh from Gaziev. Dude, I can't believe that Rosenstrike didn't get off more low kicks there, man. He needed way more of them. Gaziev don't even fight for foot position, even in opposite stance. Like, he needs to low kick the fuck out of him. Knee to the body from Rosenstrike. Mm. 
By the way, chat, regardless if Gaziev ends up winning, this kind of confirms that anyone athletic at heavyweight beats this guy. <sighs> Knee to the body from Rosenstroik. Single leg from Gaziev. He might get this one. He will. Short time, though. And Rosenstroik sat up. As long as Rosenstrike just doesn't completely give up mount immediately, you should be fine here. Rosenstrike needs to lift that right leg up a bit. Needs to keep that right knee nice and high. Because if he can stop the mount pass, he'll be fine here for the rest of the round. He's not doing that. Now he is. Dude, he could have got off so many more low kicks. The fucking idiot, man. It's all good, though. We're losing the uh, under 1.5 regardless. Skinny bets by the looks of things. But who knows? Maybe the start of round two. Pink eye from eating butt. You know what? I think my eyes are just fucked from looking at a screen at night every day. Here we go. Round two. That's a Gaziev round, I guess. Rose and straight. You'll be fine, mate. You'll stuff him. Get the low kicks off, though, man. You wasted too much fucking time, brother. Total uncle fight. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. You know what, chat? I hate to say it, yeah. The way I've been feeling since I got back from South Africa in terms of, um, like, fatigue and, like, not wanting to work out and shit, I might have AIDS from one of these fucking black bitches out there, man. One of these Zulu queens. You know what I'm saying? I was very safe, but I wouldn't fucking... I'm not going to ever test myself, but I might have it. Not AIDS. Like HIV, I guess. What I don't know what it is that you can even get. I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Tussling with the Zulu queens a bit too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get glasses? No. Derek Lewis been falling asleep again, yeah. Get blue light glasses. Yeah, you guys are way behind in chat. What the fuck? Gaziev heaving. Oh, shit. Gaziev is heaving. Get blue light glasses? No. Wait, why are adverts starting? The round is about to start. What the fuck? I'll bet you the fucking round is on right now. Why is there adverts? They just restarted a whole new set of adverts. I bet you the fight's on right now. There better not be another advert after this. Right, I missed the first 30 seconds. There you go. 40 seconds of the round down. Didn't see any of it. They're smiling at each other. Rosenstrick, low kick the fuck out of him. Please. Tap, low kicks. Snappy low kicks, Rosenstrike. 403, 402, 401. Low kicks, Rosenstrike. Please get them off. Body shot. Nearly landed over the top on Rosenstrike there. Low kick him! He can't shoot that much. He's too fat. He's shot his shots. You have to take the gamble and low kick the fuck out of him. He has skinny ass legs. So top heavy. Built like Tyson Fury. Low kick the fuck out of him. Instead of all this leaning like he's going to get caught. Please low kick him. Jab to the body from Rosenstrike. Knee to the body from Gaziev. That was good. Please low kick him. Jab from Rosenstrike. Good shot. I don't know what landed there. They push off. Dude, look how heavy Gaziev is on that lead leg. Why are you not chopping the fuck out of it? Please, I beg of you, Rosenstrike. Please chop low. There it is! We need more of those, though. We just need more of those. 
We just need more of those. It's there every time. And this guy, don't fucking throw off the mark. He's too slow. No athletic bone in his body. Chop the fucking leg off this guy. Body shot. It's there, man. He's not shooting on you, man. You've wasted three minutes. Jab from Rosenstrick. Please chop that low kick. Jab from Rosenstrick again. Here comes Gaziev. Missing a bunch of shots. Fails the shot. No single leg. Rosenstrick, you had three fucking minutes, dude. But Gaziev still might not get it. Oh, that's big. That's big for Rosenstrick. Knee to the body from Rosen. Big takedown defense. 153, 152, 151, 1 minute 50. Yeah, I'm telling you, YouTube Live, if you get over 5K viewers, it just shuts down the fucking chat. So mods, please. But I don't know why YouTube Live does that shit. It cannot handle chats over like 4K. <laughs> Punch to the body from Rosenstrick. <laughs> knee to the body from Gaziev. Knee back from Rosenstrick. Hits the switch on Gaziev. Gaziev drives in, though, but still another takedown defense for Rosenstrick. Punches the body. Should keep punching the body here while he can. Short time. Don't matter if he gets taken down. He'll be fine. Knee to the body. Knee to the thigh from Gaziev. Knee to the body from Rosenstrick. Dude, I'm annoyed at Jazzinho because he actually could have been 10 low kicks higher than he is right now. Gaziev don't shoot off low kicks. He's not a reactionary fighter. He forces everything and watches. He doesn't react off anything anyone does. He needed to low kick a bunch. Hopefully he gets them going in the third, I guess. That's a Rosenstrick round, right, chat? In round two. Right? That's Rosenstrick's round. Clear. Right, round three coming up, I guess. Three more rounds, yeah, indeed. 1-1. One, 2-0 one. Oh, Rosen. No, you can't give him the first, I don't think. He may be done more damage, but I don't think the judges are going to give him the first. I think it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Stop fucking lying. Why the fuck you lying? So Rosen straight, what you should do is first 30 seconds, be ready for the takedown. Um, get his jab going. And then if it doesn't happen in the first 30 seconds, it's not going to happen in the middle of the round. Look how Gaziev is fucking breathing right now. Please, Rosenstrike, you've got this shit. No low kicks for the first 30 seconds. Maybe one. Gaziev so flat-footed. Maybe one. He can tap it. There it is. There you go. I don't mind that. Look how flat he is. You can throw more than that, Rosenstrike. <laughs> He's got more than that. He's got more. He can throw another low kick. Rosenstrick's smiling the entire time. He just got caught by a right hand there. He needs to calm down. Low kick again from Rosenstrick. That's what he needs. More. Let's really butcher that leg this round. Fat Terry Crews fumbling the bag. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Jabs from Rosenstruck. Jab to the body from Rosenstruck. Rosenstruck. 
Lead hook. Dude, Gaziev is hurting to breathe. Can you see that, chat? He's literally like... <sighs> like that. Breathing so fucking heavy. Low kick from Rosenstrick again. Oh, watch out, though. Here's where, he's da here's where Gaziev's dangerous up against a cage. No more low kicks. Now we check hook. Okay, now we can low. Now we can low. Let's take the center circle right and low kick. Gaziev's literally forcing his mouthpiece out because he's that out of breath. Low kick him! Chew his fucking leg up! I farted as I did that one. I'm going to poo myself. Low kick, please! He has no understanding of lead foot position, dude. He's showing you the low kick all fight long. Jabs from Rosenstrike. Please. Please, Rosenstrike, please. Just fucking low kick the fuck out of him, please. If he ever throws an exchange, he's not doing anything for at least 30 seconds afterwards. Wait it out and then chop that fucking leg up. <laughs> Good jab from Rosenstroke. I'm telling you, dude, he could have had this fight finished by now. <laughs> look how Gaziev's lead leg plods in, chat. He's so unathletic. His knees look like they're about to fucking cave in. Jab to the body from Rosenstrike. Yeah, you win by Shamil heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good shots from both there. Blood's gasping for oxygen. What's Rosen doing? I have no idea what Rosen's doing. Chop his fucking leg, dude. Please chop his leg. You've won the round even if he does end up on top. Please chop the fuck out of his leg. Jabs the body again, dude. Guys, you have trash would have been KO'd by Tom. Anyone would have... There's a low kick. Left hook body shot. Now pace it. Jab now. He's too close. Jab now and we find the low kick. Yell and rage about kicks in German, please. No, because it would just sound racist. There's the low kick again. I'm telling you it's there. He needs to get his lead hand out as well so Gaziev can't just throw his rear. So just do a mixture of both. Throw the lead out there. There you go. Plod it. Now we chop low again. There comes a point where even if he gets taken down, he still wins the round. Now he can chop it. Jab from Rosenstrike again. What a fat disgrace Gaziev is and he can still win the fight, which is sad. Oh, he caught Rosenstroke there with a shot. He might go for something here at the end of the round. Chop the low again, Rosenstroke, please. Please chop the low and put your head on the outside. Jab. Now low. Now low. Rosenstroke's winning the third comfortably at the moment. Low kick again from Rosenstrike and Gaziev felt it. There you go. Chop it again then, Rosenstrike. Chop it again then. Chop it again. He ain't throwing back. Let's chop it. Let's chop it then. 10 seconds left. Who cares? Chop it. Five seconds left. Who cares if you get taken down? Chop it. You don't. I fucking hate him. It's all good though. <laughs> Go on. All the uncles in the crowd supporting Rosenstrike, dude. Go on, Rosen. From Suriname. Based Surinamese. Gaziev looks fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That was a good one. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gaziev looks fresh. <laughs> He's dying. <laughs> Just two fat guys fighting in it, yeah. Jesus Christ, that is funny. I'm going to go to pop out chat so I can actually watch this live with you guys. Hopefully you don't crash the stream. That's better. 
All right, round four. Rosenstroke chopped that fucking leg. The jabs are there early. Gaziev starting a bit fast here. He's looking twitchy. He gets hit by a jab. Another jab. About to get his first wind, yeah. <laughs> Stop making me laugh because he will sleep Rosenstrike if we keep doing that. I wish Rosenstrike had chopped that leg up. I really do. But he won't do it for some reason. There it is. Good jab. Jab to the body. Jab again. His first win. Oh, oh, they clashed. Good job by Rosenstreich to shake him off, though. There's a good shot from Gaziev on a single. This is everything he has. This is huge if Rosenstreich can stop it. Oh, and he does. That's huge for Rosenstreich. Huge. Chat, yes or no? Should I actually start training MMA and go on a run? Even when I get KO'd by Tom Aspinall or Cyril Gunn, please, chat, with my genetics, I can get to the UFC. Genetics alone, I can. Damn near 6'4", fast twitch, athletic calves. Come on, man. If I have made four hard years, I could genuinely be in the UFC by 30 years old. I really believe that. Alex would literally cripple half the heavyweight division with kicks, yeah. He just would his takedown defense hold up against certain ones. Who knows? Low kick again from Rosenstroke there. Do, 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 do. Jab to the body from Rosenstroke. <laughs> Gaziev looks like his knee... Boom, boom. Yeah, true. Is literally his knees are caving in. Weird as fuck. Good right hand from Rosenstrike. He's getting a bit busy now on the feet. Good right hand again. Low kick now, Rosenstrike. Low kick now. Don't all oh, but he's cracking Gaziev. He's starting to put pace on it. Putting nasty pace on him, my lord. <laughs> Stop. Gaziev too fat and tired to even throw. Yeah. True. Do not mark Goddard impression. He's the referee. No. Hey, listen. Hey. Throw a fucking punch. Somebody get an asthma pump in here. Gaziev's going down. Good low kick from Rosenstrike. Yeah, I really think he could have finished this fight now if he threw more of them, but it is what it is. You don't want to be taken down, I guess. There's another one. He needs to smell a burger. It will give him wind. Okay. I'm going to tell my kids this was Edwards Chimeyev. <laughs> Mouthpiece out for Gaziev. Let him get it back in. What? Don't pity him. <laughs> Look at Gazia. <laughs> Jab from Rosenstrike again. <laughs> Look at Gaziev. What is he doing? What is Gaziev doing? Inside low kick from Rosenstrike. Jab from Rosenstrike. <laughs> he's getting oh he got caught by right hand again oh my god what the fuck is he doing 
Uh, Rosen Strike, it's not over. You've got another round. Alpha Bleach getting worked. <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> what the fuck is up to this? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, versus Hamza. Yep. Yeah. Heavyweight Kamari versus Hamza. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. Kaziev might be gassing. <laughs> Dude, he could win round five, though. We'll see. If he wins round five, yeah, there's an argument he gets like one, two, and five. So, oh, they're arguing in the corner about something. Timeouts? No, 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 no. Let's get the fight back on now. What's all this breathing time we're getting? Wait, he's going to, he's going to quit the cardiac arrest. There's no way they have called a doctor in for cardiac arrest. I don't fucking believe it. There's no way he is going to get the fight called off for being too fat to continue. There is no way. Ah! <laughs> he fucking quit from being out of breath. Oh my fucking god, Rosenstrick wins. Oh my god. Cassie have just tapped to a fourth round. Thank you for the membership. Let's go, Rosenstrick. Let it be a lesson. I honestly want this to be a lesson. If anyone picked Gaziev after watching his fights, you're a retard. If you picked Gaziev to win, you did not watch his regional fights. He has looked shit so much like this. Thank you for the $10. I called it. I know. <laughs> what the fuck, Gaziev? Holy shit. Holy shit. Gaziev just tapped to a fifth round. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the was literally <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Rosen straight by cardiac arrest as well. That is so bad. Uh, corner should have thrown in the towel. Bad PR. True. Yeah, they should have done, right? They should have called it off. Gaziev de Blanchfield. <laughs> Marab Gaziev. Dagestan casuals incoming excuse. Yeah, Gaziev must have missed those vitamins as a kid. Yeah, true. Winner via round four type two diabetes. Rosen wins by heart attack. Chatter got it right. True. Early stoppage. Gaziev was just getting started. This should be a lesson to the UFC to stop putting prospects with one UFC fight in main events against ranked contenders. This has happened twice. Abbas Magomedov and now Gaziev. Both have gassed. Bro wanted Stipe. <laughs> Saving his energy for his ultra marathon. Yeah. Russian EPO hitting that spot when it mattered. I mean, at least I got the Rosenstrick pick, you know. I'll take it. I think Rosenstrick, yes or no chat, Rosenstrick could have finished him in the first. TK obesity. <laughs> Lucas Tracy picked, oh my God, I think he did pick Gaziev. No, Lucas Tracy picked Rosenstrick. <laughs> Augusto Sakai, true. Bro got TKO'd by his own heart. <laughs> uh, he did? He picked Gaziev? Dude, Lucas, that is a rookie pick, you know. Look at his regional fights, man. There's so much weakness there. Good win for Rosenstrick. Wasn't a good win even. It was shit. He's shit for, for winning. <laughs> awful 
If someone didn't watch this card, they couldn't understand it. Great start. Slow daggies and the comedy in the main event. <laughs> Need a crazy thumbnail for it. Yeah, Gassiev wanted his burger quick. <laughs> what a fat sack of shit. If you're still here, uh, skinny bet, sorry. This is how retarded we are in how we react to fights. But that was embarrassing from him, dude. When you forget to take the cardio rights. <laughs> New legendary fighter, Shamil Gassiev. Looking fresh, though. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Bladder quit like chicken, yeah. Gazi, I'm getting a thousand cc's of KFC gravy in the back. Thank you, Brian Gill, for the five gifted memberships, man. Stopped early. Gazi was letting himself get hit to gas out Rosen Street. Yeah. Bro got TKO'd by high cholesterol. Yeah. Winner by stool tap. This doesn't take away from the fact that that dude who 30 27 your heart throb got KO'd. Shut up, bitch. Impression Goddard saying Gazi too fat to continue. No. <laughs> Hey, listen. Hey, stop breathing so fucking heavy. <laughs> Diabetes went 101 on this card. True. <laughs> Gazia versus Treadmill next. <laughs> this starts his rebirth. Gazia will be back. Yeah. Gazia versus Dada 5000, Nap and Oxygen Mask in between rounds. Leon Edwards would whoop his lap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you see Mikhaev post his poop on Twitter? No, he didn't. Heavyweight Habib fraud tapped to his own cardio. Okay. Who's next for Gaziev? Wings or Boogie? Boogie, I guess. Blatant robbery. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> By way of gas out, heart failure undefeated. Gaziev left bacon grease. All <laughs> well, he wouldn't have been bacon grease, you know what I mean? Because it's haram, but. Does this make volleyball players OM3 in the UFC? I think it does. Full violence called that a Jezzinho masterclass? I don't know, dude. It basically wasn't an opponent after round one. Can we be honest? After round one, it literally just wasn't an opponent. I'm crying. We've never seen anyone quit because of fatness. Well, to be fair, Charles Barnett, uh, Chris Barnett, whatever his name is, one of those names, um, he quit. Rosenstruck versus Lewis, please. We need this fight. Gazia versus Parker Porter. In Mexico City next, sure. Yeah, we need that. Impression of Ortega giving advice to Gaziev. You gotta run sometimes. This calls for an, a shot of desk mayo. No, it doesn't. I love it when you're happy. Such a cutie patootie. Do you think if he shot another takedown, he would have had a heart attack? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't believe how shit he was in that fight. What the fuck? Thank you for the $5. Impression of Goddard asking the corner what he said in the translator. He's <laughs> angry with 1080. 
<laughs> oh, hey, listen, translate to me. What's he saying? Uh, uh, yeah. He said he's dying, brother. <laughs> he's dying right now, brother. He can't breathe, brother. He's going to die. We must stop this. Oi, buddy. Hey, listen. Hey, I'm falling for your tricks. You're coming out for round five. Oh, brother, I'm telling you. He's dying, brother. His heart is quitting on him. Thank you for the $2. The elevation got to him. Dude, I'm telling you, I didn't even know Lucas Tracy picked uh, Gaziev when I said this before. Lucas, there's no way you watched his regional fights if, you're, if you in any way get this message. There's no way you watched his regional fights. He is like that. He got dropped by Stozic. He had a shit performance against two different guys recently on the regional scene. Like, he is awful. The impression of Mark Goddard asking Gaziev backstage to cut down on cheeseburgers. <laughs> Oi, oi, stop drinking gravy back here. Oi. Gaziev would probably have got those takedowns on Lewis. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you for the $2, dude. <laughs> Gaziev ain't surviving. All right. It wasn't his heart. He told Mark he couldn't see. <laughs> he went blind. He went blind. <laughs> he went blind. He went blind. <laughs> he went blind in the middle of the fight. <laughs> he was blacking out. Yeah, true. That is <laughs> too much lard build up. Yeah. Apparently, Gaziev collapsed backstage and that. <laughs> I can't read this shit. Bro thought he was Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yes. Punch to ribs. Discombobulate. <laughs> and then the reality is just him breathing heavy. It wasn't his heart. He told Mark he couldn't see. Apparently Gaziev collapsed backstage. <laughs> and had to be hooked up. People <laughs> are <I'm> crazy. <laughs> I'm stealing that and I'm posting it here. Casuals were glazing Gaziev to beat Aspinall's Jesus. Brother, I'm explaining hair more than I'm in Hi, <laughs> Guru, from the UK like you. Thank God we don't have to stay up till 5 a.m. watching a rubbish card this weekend. Gaziev sucks is my takeaway. True. Gaziev versus Elijah. <laughs> your dasher has arrived with your order from none but mayo. <laughs> none but mayo. Very funny. Uh... Gaziev went blind like you almost did. Oh, I did nearly go blind today. You're right. I shouldn't be uh, roasting him, to be fair. You're right, man. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went blind like almost did. Uh, why they put Gaziev into a ranked fight? I know, dude. It shouldn't have been done, but they needed a main event, I guess. Get Gaziev on my 600 pound life. All the gravy, bacon, grease, sweat got in his eyes. <clears throat> I think what happened was the corner appreciated Gaziev's hard work as a punching back and threw in a double Big Mac. <laughs> but Gaziev's hunger was too much. Yeah, true. Didn't you almost go blind earlier? Uh-oh, I know. Did Gaziev somehow save this card? No. Yes, he kind of did. Gaziev actually kind of did redeem the card. Did he not, chat? Thank you for the 50 Canadian dollars. Thank you for making me more confident in my pick, Rosenstrike. I bet 25K on him. I got back 62. That's crazy. Now I'm going to give away 33 memberships for the people to celebrate. Nice. Thanks, man. Doing literal charity in my fucking chat room. 
thank you very much for the 50 Canadian dollars, dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> Gaziev just got on the ambulance en route to Golden Corral. Okay, <laughs> slowest game of Hungry Hippo. <laughs> slowest game of hungry hippo i've ever seen jesus christ thank you for the gifted membership skinny bets appreciate the 10 gifted thank you man <laughs> this just in gazi have taken to the ear <laughs> for a massive heart attack thank you for the other gifted memberships skinny bets the 10 of them i appreciate that as well i'm not going to read out all the names because it's lagging the chat out but i appreciate the gifted mma joey said he was like gaziev if he was in the ufc <laughs> dagestan has their mike mallet true guru gaziev for 300s last fight make it happen true makayev kind of sucked too how does he always win i have no idea He's good. He, he's good though. Like he's UFC level, but it's just like the the need to a grounded opponent rule is the sole reason he exists. Someone said Gaziev's going back to KFC. Uh, does this mean cardio is number one priority? <laughs> Gaziev pounding blocks of lard to regain his sight. Gaziev versus the thousand pound sisters. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of want to make a whole video laughing at him. Thank you for the two dollars. The way Gaziev fought, you could see he's got that hunger in him. <laughs> Gaziev thought that he could eat a Snickers between rounds. <laughs> and when they said just water, he peaced out. <laughs> he peaced out. Impression of Goddard asking Gaziev's corner if they brought enough cheeseburgers for everyone. <laughs> if there's pickles. <laughs> Stop making me laugh, man. My cheeks always ache. I'm, you're giving me crow's feet under my eyes. I'm supposed to not age and have no wrinkles. But you're giving me some fucking crow's feet, boys. Dana cooked on that main event. <laughs> and Gaziev ate. The fight recap and fights to make vid will be epic. Yeah. Thank you for the... I don't know if I'll do that. Uh, maybe, though. Impression of Gaziev throwing up on B. <laughs> Thank you for the membership, lucky number seven. Thank you again, Skinny Bets, for the gifted memberships, man. I appreciate that, man. Gaziev's foot turned black during the... What? What from? I don't think Rosenstroke's contagious. Greg Hardy versus Gaziev, Battle of the Inhalers. Okay. okay. Uh, best Apex card? Maybe. Thank you for the membership, Skinny Bets. There you go. The final piece. Gaziev thought him and Rosenstroke were going to KFC, not fighting. Okay. This has inspired me to lose weight. You know what? Same here. I'm actually heading back to the gym. I've gained like 15 pounds since South Africa of fat. But I'm going to trim it off again. Thank you for the $10. Brother, my eyes are foggy. Brother, help. Gaziev to Goddard, probably. <laughs> Chamil Gazdier. <laughs> Gaziev, Salt Lake City, mate. <laughs> brother, brother, would you never tell me this is in Salt Lake City, brother? <laughs> We're in Vegas, Gaziev. Uh, no, brother. It's, it's, you take me to Mexico City. Why no one tell me this, brother? Uh, bro just gave up. He's the <laughs> main event. <laughs> Gaziev calls out Mike Perry after hearing it's BKFC. Okay. Gaziev should be a band from Dagestan unless he uses 100 pounds. Getting blind because your heart is letting you down due to blocked arteries and excessive cholesterol is such a disgrace here. Yeah. You see his body fat move every time he moves. I'll read fat jokes for 10 hours. Thank you for the two euros. Dirt McGurt. Gaziev after starring on Cooking with Dana. <laughs> it's good. It's pretty good. He was trying to eat his mouthpiece. <laughs> Starting round two, we should have seen this coming. Your laugh is so feminine. I think it's more fun that way. Most people's laughs, if they give out their real life, laugh are quite feminine. Thank you for the two pounds. I like a good giggle. Gaziev needs to lose those titties. Okay. Chat, please. Now I'm up to date with chat. If I went and trained, I actually could be a, a top 15 UFC heavyweight. Please. 
You saw me next to DDP. I'm a fucking heavyweight. And if I trained hard for five straight years, dude, I'd fucking make it to the rankings. Come on, man. Broad our shoulders, 79 inch reach, knuckle to knuckle. Come on, man. Easy. On pure athleticism, I'd be able to do it. <laughs> Gaziev dies training after uh, under David Goggins, okay? <laughs> Corner told Gaziev Pizza Hut Buffet. <laughs> closing in 15. Gaziev versus Diabito for UFC 300. <laughs> God, I'm telling Gaziev quitting from fatness isn't allowed in the rules. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, listen. Hey. Chat, I do think I can make top 15 if I really train for five years. They're so disgustingly unathletic is insane. You know? I used to have rugby coaches like, come on, dude. Focus, focus, dude. I'm telling you. Even Cameron Simon said it on the, on the podcast. He said when he saw me, he said rugby coaches would be licking their lips if they saw you. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I reckon I could make it. Guru by spinning wheelchair KO. Okay. Your debut would be in Salt Lake City. Goddard ref. True. Gaziev quit in when he heard he burned 500 calories. This might be your worst delusion yet. That's not delusional after watching what Gaziev just did. <clears throat> Gaziev fucking had a base in fucking... Volleyball. Dude, the red flags were all there. Who the fuck picked Gaziev? Again, Lucas, you must, you should have picked. I know inside you should have picked Rosenstruck, dude. But you know what it is sometimes, chat? Yes or no? Sometimes when there's too many upsets in a row in main events, you just don't feel like picking another one. I kind of wanted to pick Gaziev because of that, right? Because I was like, oh, there's been two upsets. There's not going to be a third upset. You know what I mean? In a row. Like, sometimes it gets like that. So I get it in that case. Seems all you need in heavyweight division is good cardio and good wrestling, and you're good. True. Gazia falling down the stairs like that. <laughs> Thank you for the $2. Can you waste your time and stream Game Bread MMA? No. Gaziev thought Rosenstroik was going to need a poo as well, so I'm going to have to go soon. Gaziev thought Rosenstroik was going to give him KFC chicken. <laughs> Impression of Dana White announcing Gaziev versus... All right, everybody. Gaziev versus a treadmill tonight. Thank you for the two euros. Dana should make obesity weight class just for Gaziev. <laughs> Corner told Gaziev the pizza place closes in five. Nice. What the fuck was Gaziev doing? Main event poster is going to look good on his fridge. <laughs> Imagine if Guru picked Gazav. I know, dude. I'd be raging so bad. I'm five foot four and I terrorize these heavyweights. True. Corner told Gaziev the burger joint's about to close. Ala snack bar. Him versus heart thermometer next. He must be in fitness protection program. K enough fat jokes. <laughs> he has enough on his plate. True. Gaziev was so dehydrated that he tried drinking his own sweat. I'd hate to see what he'd do around Dana once we oil him up finally. True. Gaziev immediately gassing. Immediately spotting the food backstage after being blind for four minutes. <laughs> Oh, brother, my vision coming back. Give me the donut and the, <laughs> the doughy twistler. 
Gaziev was drinking chocolate milk between rounds. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. I'm going to repeat all these jokes on Twitter for the next three hours. Gaziev's game plan was to literally eat the jab. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars, dude. Chat, I'm actually going to go because I need to poo really badly. So see you later, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be here tomorrow. Gaziev's the new CEO of EPO, indeed. I need to poo. So goodbye. I'll do an event recap and we'll chuckle about it there. Goodbye, chat. See you later. Oh, I need to poo. Please stream end. Please.